thank you for coming in. Welcome to episode seven. We're going to be talking about comics. We're going to be talking about comic books and movies, comic books and TV, and comic book games. We'll also be talking about a little bit of movie TV Sprinkling and games. Sprinkling other games as but well. And really, other we want TV to talk shows. about comics, and really, we want to talk to you guys. So yeah, please, we want this you guys is comic to talk combos, too. comic conversations. And really, you could talk about any geeky thing here. If we don't know about it, we'll learn. You know yeah, what I mean? Want That's the to best learn. part. Honestly, we want to learn, to be 100% honest. This this week's episode, guys, we're going to focus very intensely on Logan. Like, this, it's, we've got to talk about this. It's yeah. next week. Next Logan Thursday, is, is our definitely our new is our upcoming like our anticipation this talk this week because it is it's it's a week out it's a week out it's guys. literally a week out and 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 things are looking good y'all so good so good every I mean, review positive is positive hundred percent review on uh, Rotten Tomatoes we just checked right yeah yeah, yeah it was, as of this and night, it's a nine point five on another side I'm like that Jeez, is just that's insane. insane honestly for me anything higher than seventy five percent is good enough. Everything's got to have a margin of error, people. I don't know, not, ain't nothing really perfect. But, man, some of these people be getting close. Logan. Seriously, And Logan it's great. Just... It's great to hear because the it's it's the scaling. Have you seen the uh, the meme? There's a meme of Logan where it's scaling up from all the movies of, like, 30% on Rotten Tomatoes, 60% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. 90%. 90%. They just... Maybe this was a good thing. Maybe they could test out the water so then that way they knew exactly what formula that they could plug in, dude. It would be definitely. every single good formula that they learned from their past mistakes. Like, cause there's a lot of random little plot holes in the first oh. one. Like, oh my goodness, dude. The first one was full of a lot of mistakes. Thank you for our two. Deadpool. Years, and... Deadpool being probably one of the biggest mistakes. Like, Deadpool, guys, Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool is amazing. Yes. Like, it, it All right, really no, is. here's the thing. Okay, so Wade Wilson in that movie. What's up, Asia? Yeah, thank you guys for coming in. Yeah, thank uh, you. Wade Wilson in that movie, perfect. Deadpool in that movie, awful, terrible. Not uh, even moderately correct in any way, basically. Um, yeah. You know, it, I couldn't even think of a single thing except for the fact that they used Wolverine's healing factor that was very accurate well. or even Yeah, good. and it was just, you know, in all the scenarios he's in in the X-Men movies, he's about to die and... Oh yeah, yeah, you know he survived every single time. Every like time. he fell under the water for the longest time, and he was good. Oh yeah, well, and then the people are like, "All right, drowning up. kills Wolverine." Well, drowning kills Wolverine, but he heals. But he heals. So until <laughs> so <laughs> until he, he gets out of, out of the water, then he's good. It's the same with the head. People are like, "Cut off his head," which works unless his head re comes back to his body. Mm -hmm. And even in some, like you said, in some instances where he doesn't have the adamantium skeleton. You actually got to get rid of all of him. All of him. Like said, there's an intense like, geez, one in early Wolverine. Crisp him up, man. Oh, you should have seen. There was an intense one in one Wolverine one where he comes back from a single drop of blood. And this is old. So people are like, what? oh, Wolverine's healing. He was powered up, though, by something. I can't remember. Are you serious? Yeah, which, I'm not which, even kidding. Uh, uh, which series was this, man? Let me look real quick. Uh, Guys, Wolverine. freaking Wolverine just heals from one drop of blood? I cannot believe that. Yeah, and people are always like, oh, Deadpool is always... Wolverine has... Had times and has had instances where his healing factor is definitely awesome. been beyond the norm. Like, oh my goodness. Uh, right. Yeah, so give us just a moment, folks. We just want to share this around, make sure everybody get everybody's comments get addressed. We're just kind of getting uh, adjusted here. <clears throat> want to make sure you all are enjoying the episode. Comic Convos, man. Here it is. Comic Convos. Um, I gotta remember where it's from, but this is the actual image of the comic where we have wolverine blah no <laughs> blah, blah blah wolverine done and then they see see a drop of blood gets out and here he is reforming his entire skeleton and nervous system oh my goodness and body serious? yeah and he said given sufficient power my entire my entire body could be regenerated from the genetic data recorded in a single cell or drop of blood and you can tell by the art style of this, that it's fairly old. I have to yeah, look. Yeah, it's an old one. I'll have Definitely. to look uh, and see. Looks exactly about seventies, sixties. I'd say seventies. Well, he's only actually isn't he only from the eighties or the seventies? Because he's in Giant X Men two hundred. Oh yeah, yeah. Wolverine's he's not as old as not as old as think. I um, thought. Well, when did he appear in that Hulk? That was his first appearance. Yeah, that was which I believe is seventies. But he didn't really start appearing until later. Okay, so it might be seventies. Yeah. Yeah, it's like geez. But yeah, it's it, Logan is looking really good, guys. We really hope that this is going to be the best Wolverine film 
so far. I mean, we can't say it'll be the last because no, we never know. We, we never we know hope. what'll happen. Do you hope it's the last one, man? No, I mean we can hope for a new more. Sorry, is what I mean. Not that we can hope this is the last one, but we can hope that there are more. And that so I Hugh saw, Jackman I goes. I saw an for, article today. Is it the Ryan Reynolds on Hugh Jackman's lawn? Uh, that one. And they, <laughs> 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 he's on Hugh Jackman's lawn, yeah, like, dude, crazy, come back. Oh, dude. So okay, I saw it. I didn't. I actually didn't click in the article because I thought it was a little clickbaity. I mean, was... but I mean. It said Hugh Jackman would have stayed in the films had he got to work with Oh, Avengers. that one I did see earlier Yeah, I today. was like, okay, I wonder uh, I mean, I'd if have that's to even accurate. See if it was you know accurate. I mean? That's the real thing is, is it accurate? How accurate is it? Can we do, you know, and that's the problem is they're nowhere near the point where Wolverine is nowhere probably ready near, to guys. come into the Avengers. I mean, you could insert him in, in any point in this Avengers, but chronologically speaking from the comics... Wolverine didn't join the Avengers until fairly late in the game. Yeah, very, he, very recently. Very, very, very recently. All Spider-Man too, actually. Yeah. People are always like, well, Spider-Man didn't make it on the Avengers. Well, technically, Spider-Man was on the He's Avengers until a couple yeah, of years ago. Yeah, pretty new, man. 2000-something? Like 2003 or three, four? Three, I Maybe, think. Uh, I wanted Avengers, to say like it? four or six. It might be. I thought it was like New Avengers or Avengers. It might be six. Because the new Avengers, which is where I believe actually where Luke Cage might go off on his own. Yeah, Luke Cage is a beast, dude. Yeah, and this one's actually, so it would be even before this one. So this is from 2006, uh, which means it would be even before that, which would be new Avengers 2005. So new Avengers 2005 would be specifically probably the first point Wolverine and uh, Spider-Man would be in Avengers. Which yeah, the first one. You're right, exactly. actually. That's dope, man. I, I was just thinking about it. I'm trying to like track back, and I'm really enjoying Look at that. The last... Oh, is this the... Ooh, Professor X. Ah. Oh. Professor you, X. It might be. you got to remember, Sir Patrick Stewart's getting fairly up there in years. He is. I mean... I think he's 70s, <clears throat> 80s. About in his 80s, man. Yeah. He's getting him way up there. Which, if you've ever seen the... the I can't remember. It's it's John Star Stewart, Trek, man. Or, I mean, yeah. it's like he's just been... In movies all his life, it's it's about time for him to retire, you guys. That's like fine I feel like it it's... is. I don't, my thing is, yeah, he's ancient, Susie. My thing is, <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing him. What's the problem with having him in? If he wants to stay in movies, stay in movies, stay in them. My like, only thing, and here's my most difficult part, and I hate to say, it, and I want to have it at the same time, is if you're gonna die, he can't stay in a movie. Because yeah, then we'll then we true. have to replace your character. Same thing if you sign up for a character. In my opinion. You should be ready to ride that character out to wherever he goes. At least, at, at least until even if it's when you leave, they get rid of the character. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I get exactly what you're saying. It's like after the point when the character dies, it's hard to do some revival type stuff and make it work in the cinematic universes. Yeah, you're good. You're good. But like I, I don't know, that. it's it's kind of like the Quicksilver thing that's going on right now. You know, you have a lot of people that are just thinking that Quicksilver is going to be revived, like, oh, he didn't actually die in the Avengers Age Ultron. I'm like, that's not confirmed, and yeah, nothing it, cheesy I don't think it'll Susie. be. That just want to give him an appropriate death, nothing cheesy. Nothing cheesy. The thing yeah. is, any appropriate death for Professor X is probably going to be kind of cheesy. Here's, here's this larger-than-life character, or even, you know... But he's oh, not immortal, bro. The, the, it, I don't know if she's talking about the death of Professor X or fucking jo uh, Sir Patrick Stewart. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think about that because they give <laughs> we, it appropriate Yeah, I was chopping like, on the professor. But I, I, either way, they're both very big figures that would probably have to have to have. Um, oh, absolutely. Very kind of cheesy. And very cheesy-ish. But, I mean... You gotta make it dramatic. Oh you yeah, know, it's got to be. Out, man. It was in the comics. Yes, Let's not try to pretend it wasn't. Super was in the comics, like ridiculous amounts. Oh man, rest forever, Professor X. Fuck you. Uh, no spoilers. I don't know how long has it been now. It's not been that long. It's only been two or three years. I feel like wasn't that 2012 or 2014? Which are you talking the last movie? Or? AVX. Two, I'll look. I think. Wait, I'll go look. Are you talking about a comic series, or are you yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about a which one? Well, they only have a one. AVX. Okay. 
Oh, Avengers versus X-Men. 2012. Sorry, yeah. my, my bad. I, I know you're reading the video. Um, dignified in the movie, both lol, thanks Susie and Connor. So the movie is going to follow the comics and his daughter is actually is a clone. Probably, I is that might be... The thing we, I haven't gotten any spoilers from it. I mean, we've I've talked. To we people. don't know. Yeah, yeah. it's not. It's and, nothing of that sort is confirmed. No, and I read. A, and I wouldn't want it to be. I, I don't read some like... information the other day too. My bad to cut you off. So no, you're they good. were uh, talking. They were actually talking about um, Fox and how they don't really have the right to really copy the comic books. No, they because don't. They only have the right to the character. They the don't character. have the right to the property the ideas. Yeah, so they can't, which is different. They can't technically. They can kind of parody it a little, but I don't think they can follow them. Accurately. They can't without giving it. That's God, the thing. That's no one wants no to Fantastic compromise. The no, same thing with because Marvel and DC in the last couple of years, no one wants to compromise and come together to make these deals happen and say, okay, we're willing to make a little less of the money to long, make a greater movie. Yeah, man. to make a better piece of film because then the film will gross more money anyway from being a better film, hopefully. And no feet claws in the trailer as well. Kind of lame. Uh, we'll see how it is, Tyler. I'm not sure how they think. I think they're going to put him in, especially because I only saw her two claws. So if they're only going to give her two hand claws, I got to assume they're giving her a foot claw, Tyler. <laughs> uh, also, Connor, uh, we can try to make it dignified. The last one was definitely messed up. It the was. problem is, Whew. is death ever that dignified? Besides passing in your sleep, I guess. Even then, if you think about it, we don't go into it in movies a lot because we like to make them glamorous and real, really like, oh, the movie is picturesque. But right. when you die, you lose control of your bowels fairly quickly. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Pretty it's much just, in every it, it's gone. You know, it's it's you over know. for you. Yeah. And and we don't, a lot, a lot of movies don't really discuss that very well. Um, and the ones that do obviously can't, there's no way to make that pitch picturesque. That's the nitty gritty of real life. And death is that it's not usually very dignified. Uh, I mean, like I said, you pass from old age. Like I said, the concept of death can be dignified, but act, the actual act of a lot of stuff is like how dignified and coordinated can most stuff really be yeah, in a messy and, it's just, and uncontrolled it's, world. It, it starts to get sloppy when some of the characters are brought back in some of the most That's the real unconventional problem. ways. Like you're just like, all right, come on. Even Thanos has come back in some really BS ways, and it's just like, really, man? Yeah, Sometimes well, everyone's like, come whatever. back in some BS ways, but then again, people get taken out in some BS ways. Oh, no, I've tripped and fallen with the Infinity... Have you seen that one? Yeah. Have you seen that one? One time they beat Thanos just because he tripped, tripped and, and fell. I was like, are you serious, dude? <laughs> it's like fucking plot holes. They exist for a reason. And only that one. Oh man, that's but thank so you good. guys for yeah, participating thank you, today. And Tyler for like, it's, it's been that's a wonderful comment fest. Oh like, yeah, we've been enjoying every single second, guys. Yeah, tune in for more. We're gonna go into a lot more conversations oh, yeah. about other things as well. Um, kind of taking a look at a, the the new movies this week. Um, yeah, and before we get the into the ones. to really sorry to cut you off. No, no sorry worries. to re- cut him off, but we're gonna ask you a question before we really get into yeah, that movie yeah, section. We wanna, you know, you guys participate. Yeah. Uh, what movie that's coming out within, let's say, two months, two, three months, because that gives us or actually. For the rest of the year, because we're still asking, we haven't gotten too many replies. But for any movie this year coming out, what's your favorite one you're like anticipating? Is it Spider-Man? Is it Logan? Is it going to be Justice League? Is it going to be Wonder Woman? Yeah, Is it, there are some so really good great. movies coming out. I mean, out. And and even it, above all the And we're the just comics, hitting the surface, like, really. Yeah, really. Uh, you could list a mile long, and even li- the list of stuff that's the new Thanos stuff that's coming uh, out. Like, they got to release a lot of that stuff, because we're having Infinity War soon. Mm-hmm. Infinity War will be Did you hear? Really good. Oh, man, that's TV. Though. I'll save that a little bit later for TV and just type it real quick. But yeah, like... There is so much going on, guys. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the kiss, Tyler. Thank you, we Tyler. Love you. We love you, We too. love you, man. But, yeah, let us know what your you know your favorite upcoming movie is so we can talk about it. You know, we, we want to know what you're thinking. Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Star, Star Wars. Wars. I forgot because it's coming at the end of the year. But Star it, Wars. Guys, I mean, just the conversation that's happening around that right oh, now. Is the it, the internet has exploded after exploded. they released that title, man. The Last Jedi. And we've talked about it in previous casts, and we're going to repeat stuff 
in casts from here and until I, the end I, of the cast. And, and how do, what do you think? Is it singular or plural, man? What do you think? I mean, it can be either this one in particular, though, and it, and this is what I personally want. I want it to be singular. I want this to be the last Jedi. The last Jedi, yeah. I, Even do if you want, it, do you want Luke to die, or do you want Ray to become more of like an in between, like not actually like a Jedi? Uh, that's kind of how I want it to be. Is like the Jedi evolve into something new. Yeah, something and, more and and, and something for better. Well, I want it to evolve into kind of the Gray Order. Yeah, you know what I definitely. mean. Definitely, and that's where I want it to see it go. So those who don't know the past, I'm personally, just... I'm on a grit and grind addiction. So give me that Logan. Oh man, Logan. Both yeah, are good. Logan. We, the, we can talk to from here to the end about Logan, though. What are we gonna talk about? They had a new one to date, and even didn't they? Where they had a like minor release of a small it, clip. Little clip. It, they're, but they're doing that every single day. Like they did the gas oh, yeah. station. That was a clip. Most Which certainly, you, most you know, certainly. knocked the dude in the gas station. He's like, no. Yeah, but I feel like they on. just they recently released even a small little recent. I'm trying to grab Logan here. I remember the January one. Yeah, I think that was a violent one. Yeah, and that one was great. For, so for those who haven't Excellent. seen it, it's been out long enough. We who wants to talk about that? The the so far the commercials we got the four minute monologue from the new alien. Actually, the Covenant alien yes, monologue. Yes, I saw that. Actually, yes. yes, it was wonderful, guys. I literally saw that this morning. Somebody messaged me on Instagram and was like, "Hey, did you see the new four minute monologue for Alien Covenant?" And I was like, "No, I haven't actually. Let me go check that out." So I went to go check it out and this was like ooh, it had just released. Like it was like seconds before. Nice. And I was like, "All right, let's go ahead and check this out." And man, I was guys, I was I was very interested. Like, I, it had me it had me enticed in a sense that I was I couldn't take my attention off of it. See, and, I it, and, and the reason why is because like the dialogue was so good, man. That was a good script. Like I was like, wow, this is actually a really good script. Michael Fassbender is a little robotic, but I mean, <laughs> honestly, he's Magneto. He's probably going to be that. Well, way isn't he supposed roles. to be probably an android anyway? Yeah, least? he's an android. Yeah, so, so he's that's kind of what mediocre. he's supposed to be. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, we've seen him in this role before. It's not new, but he does a good job as usual. Well, that's, that's what fine. I was getting people, to. Some people play a type. Yeah, and he What's plays his, a I great mean, type. Uh, Joe, Joe Pesci never played anything besides that one same type. Yeah. Again and again and again. Absolutely. I mean, seriously, yeah. guys. And it was a great type. It was fine. Uh, and 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 I'm uh, I'm glad that we're talking about trailers and stuff because there's, like you said, there was so much coming up. We got the Alien. We've got... Oh, oh Josh, Star Wars. For, yeah, I mean, yeah, said, but... Can besides, we get a Star Wars trailer? I mean, come oh, on, man. man like I want snip. more than just the title. It's like, only a year away. Can me, I get a sneak? If they gave me like six seconds, guys, I would absolutely love it. Yeah. I don't even care if it was just like a little Instagram clip, like you just like zooming in a little bit on a setting or something. Yeah. Maybe oh. like a fire or something. Just just like Ray standing over a burning building or something, even just <laughs> and Luke walks up or exactly. something. You know what? I could just exactly. come up with anything right now and people would be like, yes. Yes, That's Vader, exactly Vader, but feel. Vader doesn't exist. But oh, Force man. Vader, what if the ghost of Vader is following Kylo Ren? And he's evil again for some reason. That would what about that? What if you just finally saw who, who uh, what is it? Snow, Snow, Snur, what's the new guy's name? Uh, Snoke. Snoke, <laughs> yeah. Snoke is... What if you got to see weird... Snoke up in person instead of his giant And what if hologram? he's Mace Windu? Ha ha ha. What if he's kidding. actually that big? <laughs> Right. What if he's right. actually that and, big and, and not just a hologram? We actually, right. that's a that's a big thing right now. That I would have absolutely freak about which one Tyler which about one him you, being huge or Mace you, Windu. I know like, there's which so one, many there's so things much, have, so many. Things I think he's just smoke. talking about the the sneak peek. Probably Tyler's talking about just yeah. Like any the sneak, sneak peek, peek would be oh my goodness, dude. I would I would probably wet myself just. Oh yeah, man. I mean, it's a wonderful, wonderful concept i just gotta see a snippet and just d all just the above second. thank you tyler and like i said any suggestions you got we'll obviously shout out on the cast um oh there's just so much great stuff going on in so me. much I, and, I, and it's not quite here that's the problem we we're just on the precipice we're once on the logan drops it's all it all dominoes cool after thing, that oh yeah and the cool thing is we've had things to keep us in check we've had legion release a couple we weeks ago we're yep. on third week of legion we'll get third to that later because yep. that's our tv section mm -hmm. uh, of comics but uh we you know, I mean and we continuously have all these you know Arrowverse episodes we still have Flash we have a little bit of Supergirl I think they're about to start wrapping up 
Um, we have Legends of Tomorrow still. So those DC ones are running pretty prominently. Um, although, I will say Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is hard to get into. So I'm hoping like the Inhumans will be a good show. And that's one that I totally, totally just remembered about, man. Dude, the Inhumans, uh, like I said, TV show coming up stuff. Did you hear about they, who they got to play Maximus? Yeah, the dude that plays on Game of Thrones. Yep, Ramsey and he's Bolton. basically already Maximus, yeah. I've heard. Yes. Ramsey Bolton, and they picked and, him out, And guys. just based on what I've heard about the themes of, you know, obviously George R. R. Martin, the, the stereotype, even if you haven't read Game of Thrones, the word's gone around. Yeah, uh, and I it's actually... It's just uh, that kind of I, show. I published a article about it on Blasting News. Nice. And I was talking about how he plays that character not only that one but he plays that guy on the misfits Ooh, who has yeah. the invisible powers so i was like okay yeah. he's played a super powered character and he's also played a very cynical dark cunning, dark character mm -hmm. who transitions well into maximus dude maximus, maximus the destroyer and, man oh god maximus is the destroyer, maximus dude. the destroyer Here's the thing. If you're Black Bolt's enemy, you've got to be you gotta one be bad tough. dude. you got to be one. Because freaking Black Bolt is nobody to mess with. Dude. Like I said, people often underestimate Black Bolt even. Black Bolt oh, is a... Yeah. They talk about it in a lot of comics. They show his planet sh or his voice shattering planets and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Which is then, insane when you, you will think say, about it. You can talk a little bit about some of the classic comics being, being less a little OP r of like, everyone. Uh, I mean, the old school yeah, soups oh, used to sneeze and galaxies, sneeze and would, galaxies be would just be boom, which we all done. know is like, all right, come on soups. You can't do that, man. You, and <laughs> if you could, then who would ever really challenge you? Like, all those people, then, then, then how stronger would Dude, were the enemies that were back beating then, on him? man? He was a douche. He was. Oh, oh, oh he would that drop, was the he dropped some whatever. people like he dropped a dude. So a guy, in one of the very very early issues guys this was in action comics this dude picked oh. he, he uh snatched up jane or whatever and or i'm sorry what was Lois? huh Lois. 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 okay Lois. excuse me guys i was thinking of spider-man <laughs> but anyway Genius. um yeah uh he he picked her up basically kidnapped this kidnapped her oh. superman found out and he picks up the car gets her out of it first then he picks up the car and throws him off the cliff <laughs> well, uh, like, yeah, whatever, he like... throws it off. He's like, you know what, guys? We don't care. I'm just going to toss them right off. They're right gone. Now. God. Well, what about the when he had mind control powers? Oh, yeah. Like, what? See, he's had some OP powers, too. Okay. And people, yeah. They they, people they are they're all crazy, man. They're, they're He's had whatever power. And then here's the other thing people are always like, what are his weaknesses? Well, he's had several throughout his iterations. Magic has always been a big one. Doctor Strange is always would mess him up. Doctor Strange would mess anyone up, though. People don't oh understand. He, he People just don't understand the level that Strange sits on most of the time. And they always give examples of, like, World War Hulk, which, if you've ever actually read the comic, you'll know that the only way Hulk beats Strange is by tricking him prior to the fight, pretty much. Well, it's actually in the and middle of the fight just... when Strange is basically, like, trying to sympathize with him and, like, be a friend and be like strange instead of like smashing him into oblivion. Cause unlike other heroes, strange has been known to do that to people and things that are dangerous to the yeah, universe. And, the plant, and he would have done it. He would have, uh, and he could have very easily, but he got tricked. He got so, tricked, which it, is it, it props to banner. Banner is one of the smartest people. He in is, the universe. And that's what some people don't understand that they, they think the Hulk is stupid. It's like, uh, no, Banner is one of the smartest people in the universe. And so, I depending... I group there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I shared it to all of them. Yeah, I figured you did. I was just going to wait and reshare, though, because after a while... Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, 30 updates. Oh, yeah. Cause I but, guys, go ahead and let us know. What are some of the movies that you're actually looking forward to? Because we're really oh, looking forward to I forgot to a lot about of these. that one. The other universe where Superman can copy powers just by seeing them. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's just. And there's just many, many insane. versions of more versions yeah. of Superman. Superman Prime, probably one of the brokenest Supermans in the universe, punches through dimensions and universes and all kinds of nonsense physical. That's the other thing is uh, DC doesn't like to. Like, when they transcend physics, there's not a lot of, like, propensity. And don't get me wrong, Marvel was guilty of a lot. Current Marvel is super science-y. Super science-y. Everything. Even the magic and stuff. They're just like, oh, magic is science. It's just, it works this way. You know, we're actually yeah, they're bending really... dimensional energy. Yeah, yeah. And at least they explain and that. that. The, the cool they... thing is that it's got the Eastern theme, man. Like, I, I'm digging that a lot. 
I do. I the do spiritual like thing. You know what I mean? It's very Buddhist. Yeah. And uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not totally harshing on DC because they do a lot of other stuff. Great. One of the things I like about DC, everybody's a scientist in DC. Yeah. Everybody. everybody. Bruce everybody. Wayne. And don't get me wrong. Freaking. Marvel does a pretty decent job at it too, but not everybody in Marvel is a scientist. Now to say, now the one thing about that is that's not a realistic depiction, which is fine. DC is very much not a realistic depiction of even the co how a comic book universe would be. It's a very idealistic depiction of how a comic book universe would be in real life. Uh, and let, well, until you get some more modern, different ones. But a lot of the time, you know, it's very like, all right, Superman saves the day. Yeah. The old school DC, the, the, the heroes win. All the time. Uh, justice triumphs. And not to say Marvel doesn't do that, obviously it does and did. But uh, in the beginning, people were losing. Man, Spider Man lost a lizard. Oh, all the time, and Vulture, and, and Vulture, and, and a lot, and so much more so than you'd think than um, DC. And it, and even if you watch some of the crossovers, Guardians of the Galaxy Two. Oh I mean, come yes, on. yeah, Guardians Connor. Two. Thank you for reminding Thank us you for throwing that. Thank in. Thank you for reminding. So that is one of the ones I am so yeah, excited that for. One's actually, but there's, and they've had the most. The funny thing is they've had the, the most, most views, out, but they've not just the most views. They've had the most content. I feel like for the movies and previews out, they've put out two or three different trailers, trailers, and all some this. And at the and same everything. time, you don't know shit about what's happening except for through the grapevine. The 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 trailers didn't reveal Thank you, anything. Mantis, though. Mantis, that was the one thing that it did reveal. Needed Mantis because that's Needed OG, Mantis. OG Guardians. Yeah, you know seriously. I mean? Uh, I'm I am like brute, team. yeah. I oh, am brute, yeah. man. It's like, whoo. I am Groot. Yeah. He just looks so You'll adorable, never man. be as happy as Tiny Groot with never. the death button. It's just, oh my goodness. And uh, then the DJ Groot pictures. That oh yeah, the DJ Groot pictures. Yeah. Like, oh my goodness. This uh, is that whole thing though between awesome. Rocket and Groot was just, uh, you know, it's like, I am Groot. No. Right, I'll explain it again. I am Groot. Uh huh. I am Groot. Yes. <laughs> I am Groot. No! no! That was it's literally like the about entire reaction. About to freaking, kill everybody. Yeah. It's centimeters, not inches. Centimeters, centimeters away, away from killing everybody. And then it's how. Why? Yeah, it was like. He's just asking, do you have a. You have an atomic bomb in your bag. If anyone has tape, it's you! you. <laughs> Which is realistically. And, and everyone is just doing their. Even, uh, I have to admit, uh, Batista, Dave Batista, mm -hmm. does a great job playing Drax. Drax, yeah. From I he's agree. doing. He's doing. Absolutely. And, and, and people might say, well, that's not that hard to do. It's a lot harder than you'd think it'd be to be a completely oblivious person. Yeah. It is not as easy it's to act oblivious easy. as you think. Especially you if you're do it intelligent, in, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And, and you know we got, we don't want to make any assumptions about Dave Batista. Yeah, this is not good. Yeah, uh, she just told everybody your deepest, deepest darkest, darkest secret. secret. Uh -huh. do, do me, me. do me. <laughs> oh, so awesome! Ooh, like yeah, how much yeah. better can you get? And and the greatest thing that I love now is that because we have the comic universe and the yeah. the movie universe that we are seeing them both intertwine in each other. They obviously, the movies take off of the comics. They have to. Mm -hmm. And they're doing a decent job of it while maintaining an original storyline, an original exactly. kind of and it's And it's not, it, it's based off of another storyline. So some of the stuff is, you know, roped into that. Movie. Right. And they use those facts. Even, the, you know, the, with a little bit of exception on the Avengers, slightly, obviously. Yeah, but, Civil War was like not. Right, the but the event, the Infinity Wars is going to be a little bit closer, I feel like, oh, to yeah. how everybody comes the together. The buildup was the just quicker, books. and Civil War was just kind of a hash through the. Oh, yeah, I did see the cool. super, the uh, autism uh, Drax post where it's yeah. like, Drax doesn't get sarcasm. He's like me. I can be a superhero too, which is important. And people don't realize mm -hmm. that's why it's important to have these superheroes. Maybe not necessarily like that do have autism, because and we're not saying Drax does or doesn't, but he definitely does not understand sarcasm, and that's relatable. That's real. Some people don't. I know people who are bad at sarcasm. Maybe not as bad as Drax, and that's fine. That is <laughs> Drax is like to the point where he just doesn't understand. He does not. It, it goes Anything right over you his say head, but nothing goes over right his head say. because he's too fat. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> exactly. No, but exactly that way. And not only that, he doesn't, it's more than just, he doesn't understand sarcasm. He doesn't understand the social cues a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. 
He doesn't understand their point. You know, he definitely thinks differently. And that's the point, to see different thoughts and perspectives in comic books exactly. that you wouldn't see. Exactly. It's, 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 you want a refreshing storyline. Exactly. You want a storyline that you... Exactly. What, what did you My say My reflexes <laughs> too fast. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. It is. It's great, man. It's great. I Drax love Drax is it. a great character, though. I mean, you got to admit, he's a very good character. And all of them are just very well done, dude. Man, but learning about the group lines, and now there's people that want their, uh, a group standalone. I'm like, come on, guys. I think that's a little bit much. I mean, like a group standalone. The thing let's, is, let's a ask group ourselves, mini really? standalone might be nice. Nice little 20 minute, 30 minute group thing. Baby that would group. be cool. Yeah. I'm or down. maybe the adventure a or a comic, The Adventures of Groot and Ra- Rocket. That, yeah, yeah. Stuff that like that. Awesome. They're and good. That, ideas, and that's but what I'm I agree down that. For. I agree that. Like the, the whole by film? himself couldn't do a film. Groot with Rocket and people introducing Absolutely. that's different though. That's that's a Groot film with everybody together. You know what I'm saying? And that's uh it's a it's something I want to see more of, but it takes a lot of work and time to make these movies and they have to see the output they want. They need money. That's how these and let guys us work. ask you guys, what do you think about the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy 2? I know oh, most of you are excited, us. like, but let us know. Like, what do you guys and, think? And we haven't checked it because we've right, been doing boys, time for this train. lame guy to go to bed. Uh, awesome sorry, straight, man. Look forward to more. Thank right on, Tyler. Hey, thanks for coming, man. For have sure, a good Tyler. night. Take care. Yep, have a great one. Top five favorite heroes in order. Go. All right, right. Axel, go ahead and start it off. I know you got an interesting list. Mine is probably typical. Go ahead. Yes, all right. I got uh, Wolverine, followed closely by Wolverine. And then, yeah, it's a difficult choice, but Wolverine, (laughs) followed by Logan, followed by Uh, Wolverine, I think. Actually, no, Dazzler. No, it's Wolverine. No, and that's just a fake list. I'm sorry. I love Wolverine. Wolverine is definitely probably my favorite hero. Yeah, and no, we'll go. We'll go one by one. Yeah, my I'll favorite. do top favorite number one Wolverine for me. Yep, for me and for me, it's Spider Man, man. I mean, everybody knows. I gotta give you props. Friendly like said, neighborhood not, blurred. That and, is what I go by. And I think everybody has reasons for their top one, and no one, no one character is the best character you'll see that as you look throughout the multiverses and through the storylines that every character is great every character is bad at yes yeah. every character is good every character is gonna be kind of you know weak and wimpy it happens well and even above that good and bad sometimes they don't always stick to their ideals as much as you want and yeah. your character disappoints you um number <laughs> spider-man three <laughs> yeah and and funny enough uh coming up on my number two uh probably spider-man Spider-Man. Spider-Man is definitely my That's number awesome, two. Awesome, man, because my number two is Logan. <laughs> well, Wolverine, you know. But all all editions of Wolverine are pretty much good to me. Like, I haven't seen too many cheesy Wolverine. Maybe, like, some of the early early comics when he first meets Hulk and stuff. Because I actually went on the, you know, went ahead and read it. And, uh, yeah, it was cheesy as fuck. <laughs> but a lot of those old storylines are, if you think, if we're talking, like, 60s. 70s and i know logan didn't come out at that time but once he came out in about the 80s i think it was what 70s 80s what did we determine uh, let me go look actually uh hey what's up christopher thanks for thanks joining for man joining, we're talking about way. some logan right now 74. feel free to chime in Incredible hulk 80 uh, 74 74 we're talking we're just seriously talking 81. about you know just to summarize we're just kind of talking about uh wolverine and him in the comics and how he kind of fares up in the movie as well. Uh, you know, and I think he looks really, really good in the movie. Like in the sense that it's not, it is kind of like old man Logan ish, but it almost looks like it might be an in between sort of like, uh, a I definitely bit, think it's not, or, uh, it's, it's definitely not, not the same. It's Logan. definitely a pull where he's probably not as old as he is an old man. Logan. No, no, he doesn't not, even not look. Really. I mean, an old man, Logan, he has white hair. Yeah, I mean, you see, yeah, yeah, you've like really you read a bit of it now, and I've read it, and he's yeah. definitely older. And it's actually supposed to happen a very long time. Uh, we also don't, we won't forget, Misa, your uh, top heroes. We will get back to three. We just yeah, yeah, to... which, which, yeah, we're we're actually moving right into three. Three. Oh man, this is this is such a tough decision for me. Especially the more I read, the more heroes are so great and so amazing, and. And this hero is going to sound crazy, and he's moved up to the top, to near the top of my list recently, just because I love the idea of him. Who's David that? Holler, yeah, Legion, and Number he, he's an anti-hero currently after fourteen because, and I love it because he is definitely in the same vein as Wolverine, and a lot of my top heroes will probably be in that same vein. 
And the reason, you know, you might not have read it, but read X Men uh, Legion Legacy, or any. He even does some good stuff in Utopia, but that's where he really pulls together all of his consciousness a little bit and is trying yeah. to be a good person and Absolutely. follow in that dream of flowers. I put out some quotes. I'll have some more. I had some more. Didn't get them uploaded before the show because you know sometimes that's <laughs> yeah. Guys, sometimes that happens. I'll, I'll nope. actually try to get one of them going while we're going, but uh, he's not only just because he's so powerful, but because of he's just that forever cursed kind of hero. You know what I mean? He is. As, yeah, as, absolutely. Because it's not his fault a lot of the stuff that happens to him and a lot of stuff he does, he doesn't do it on purpose. Some of the bad things he does, he does, obviously. And so does Wolverine has done yeah. some very bad things on purpose. I mean, all, a lot of these characters have done some horrible things. Man. Oh, I mean, terrible. like, think of where Thor is now from just being whispered something in his ear. He's oh, unworthy now. He is. Well, and even before that, Thor had done things that were questionable. Or Quite just... questionable. Well, and it's, it was never is, to the good point and bad where he... is always that tr is trouble because of that. But it wasn't the, the, to the point where he couldn't lift Mjolnir. Right, and uh, we're still kind of waiting to see. He still is not able to lift the, it. No, like, but we're geez. still waiting to see why. We still don't even know yeah, why. Yeah, we don't he's even know. Able. We know Nick we Fury, saw Nick whispered, Fury whispered in his ear. And but that we was don't it. know why. Um, how about you for three besides Legion? Oh, yeah. Me for three is actually Flash. Barry Allen. Nice. He is absolutely one of the most noble heroes in some of the stories, man. And like people don't understand is like the coolest, actually the coolest twists come from a lot of things that Flash does in the DC universe. He does. Well, he also makes some Flash mistakes point, too. He made, he made some fuck ups, man. And okay. that's the thing about the DC characters all that they make mistakes, man. They really do. There's been points where, you know, Batman snapped Joker's neck and like things that happen in the comics where you're like, oh my God, that's a big no, no, man. Well, like the one, uh, at the, I remember I hit you with it and you had to go read it later was uh, in the killing joke where Nightwing kills, kills the, Joker. the Joker. Yep. He beats him to death. And the Joker ends up, you know, getting resuscitated and being alive, but he beats him to death. Yeah. Uh, and no. like I said, you can also feel free to tell us your top five, Miso. Yeah, Miso. And feel free to chime in. Please, we'd love to what see is you more guys's, What are you guys' top five heroes? Yeah, go ahead. You know, you could even put your... How about your favorite hero? We'll let you guys... Yeah, if you don't want to Talk about your favorite if you don't want to do the whole yeah, list. Yeah, tell us why if you'd like. Yeah, let we, us know why. To, we'd, love we'd love to talk about y'all. And... Talking. Uh, and Oh, let's see. What else do we have? Uh, four. Four. Okay, that's what we're yep. up to four. Mm -hmm. This is tough for me. And the problem is, I my problem is I have a very tough time relating to a lot of the DC heroes. There is a lot of great heroes, but for me, I feel like... Oh, yeah, the Marvel ones are a lot closer to reality, man. Like, well, in terms of, like, relatability, it's easier to relate to some of those characters like Peter Parker and, you know... Peter Parker, they just have character. a lot of the very, very... Relate well... And a lot of their characters have these deep vices that are common to regular people. Yeah, Batman exactly. and Superman's unrelatable as all as hell. fuck. You cannot relate to Superman. I mean, you on can't any really level. relate to Batman either, unless unfortunately, unless you're you after can, revenge, but, basically, yeah. and or super justice, and that's a very hard and hardcore. And concept. I mean, think it's about weird. his even his very core. His parents died. That's what spiraled everything. Like. I'm sorry if that happened to you, like you know, and that would suck. And if you can't relate related. to that, then Batman is obviously yeah. relatable to you if your parents exactly. were both killed, or even one of your parents killed, probably. And I'm sure, but then obviously, then the next part of that is: Are you do you relate to the justice that he seeks, and do you seek that justice? I'd say maybe people do, and maybe people don't. Some to the point. depends on who it is, you and know how I mean? and, and, and how the justice has already been met out. Obviously, yeah. well, like I said, Batman. The reason Batman's weird is everybody wants justice for their. Uh, their p parents but J batman wants justice for everybody yeah he does he, he wants everybody strong. to be safe. and I, and in that time sometimes i feel i'm i'm related to him but only in times only where i'm like very that. uh you know very aware of justice needing to be done and my need you know like what I mean? you know some of the more serious things that are going on in this country Ooh, exactly nice. but, i got me cl's list which is goku, goku. Didn't yeah think about that shazam. Didn't think, i didn't even think about that. shazam is awesome he's shazam definitely on my top awesome. five I, actually shazam he's could my maybe five. i think t shazam makes my top 10 because shazam actually for me is somewhat more relatable because he is the kid billy batson exactly exactly and, and it's more of the wish that you were this what's hero. up josh and then after yeah. that we got the flash very good hero as well. Nightwing, yeah. Nightwing, yep. Batman. Batman. Those are all very nice, good heroes. Man. Nightwing too. They are. And Nightwing, Nightwing is the same is a way as Shazam. Bit more relatable. relatable. And that's what. But the problem being is he's not the flagship. All the flagships, even the Flash. Flash is a little bit more relatable. Yeah, he the is. problem being the Flash's backstory of relatability is hazy. The mom. As, yeah, and all that, that happening and like. 
the, how, you know, Dr. Zoom came back from the past. It was the one that did. Like, right. those things are not relatable. No. You know what I mean? No, the death of his mother yeah. was much more, especially uh, in the current Flash stuff. What's up, guys? Favorite Marvel character, The Punisher. Favorite DC. That's also cool, Ooh, too. You can nice. Yeah, let's talk about Batgirl and Superman. Nice. We can also talk about that because I can definitely list you like Batgirl, man. Yeah, she's a good one right now. Uh, the between that, yeah, man. I, I've I've been looking at a couple of her rebirths, and I actually looked at some of Red Hood's rebirths. Have you read any of those? Uh, no, I haven't caught started doing oh them. I was gonna goodness. say though, you know who's my number four? Red Hood. Red Jason is Todd awesome. is a re is so relatable for me, not in the resurrection, obviously, <clears throat> but in the kind of not getting justice thing. You know, we've all been done wrong. And obviously the Punisher's in the same vein, and he would take this spot, except for the Punisher's rages for his family. I can't relate to that. Yeah. I, I don't have a daughter and a child, you know, when I have children, so I can't relate to that. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you again, Josh, by the way, for your characters. Uh, but Jason Todd, I can relate to having wrong done to me, being oh, beat shit. up to be and not, you know, I, I grew up in a bad neighborhood and got beat up sometimes, oh, you know, shit, and man. sometimes not by not very fairly. Life isn't always fair. Yeah, I feel you on that tip. Yep. I definitely uh, got bullied as a child, but you know, being hey, nerds here we are easy, being man. nerds, man. I hey, love it. We're, and we're enjoying it. Yep. Grew up stronger for that. And uh, I think yeah. my number four actually has to be, I guess if we're. Uh, I would I would want to do a separate list for anime. I just feel like it just anime is I such a different it idea, yeah. uh, and, and it's it, and, and Michelle, thank you for chiming in, Goku, because yeah, that's a great because then I, put and that actually would and that's why like I, if we were doing anime in this list, because yeah. then I would have Luffy I would have, in my top five. Yep, probably. I would definitely have Naruto in mine. Goku um, would probably make Goku my take five, maybe. It's so hard. There's so many there's iconic so many. heroes. We'll move on to that one next section. Right, we'll do an anime Perfect. section we'll do an anime when we one. do we'll our go. anime yep. stuff. Yep, when we do our anime stuff, we'll go later in manga. Um, fifth, right? Mm -hmm. We're up to fifth. Or did Shazam. you get to your four? You did, yeah, you got to your four, did you? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Jason, or not Jason Todd, excuse me. Dick Grayson. Dick Grayson, Nightwing. Yep. Nightwing. Awesome. Dick Grayson is underrated by a lot of people he was batman for a while people and if you guys know right now he's actually currently grayson so he's not uh nightwing right now yeah he's, he's right as... well it's because of the whole uh court of, court of owls, owls yeah. yeah which is like oh man yep it, we'll get to we don't want to spoil too much yeah no, obviously uh man. five five is and this is here, here's i try i have trouble putting anyone this high on my list uh, blue marvel man Blue Marvel. He is really good, and it's oh, really it's more character. it's more than like, just being powerful for me. The ideas that Blue Marvel stood for, the actions he takes. That too. His like even people, a lot of people are criticized. Like, well, why did you sit in the background when you should have stood up? And it's he sat in the background because the world wasn't ready for the Blue Marvel at that time, no, at a time when it? nuclear war was imminent, and he was a nuke. For America, basically, more powerful than any nuke for America, he and and a black man. That was the, you know that was the huge part of his controversy. If you read it, the Blue Marvel, it's a huge controversy on yeah because he came early in, mm -hmm. and he's before most other superheroes of anywhere uh, near his level. Yeah. You know, they've had Cap and they've had people like Namor and and uh, and uh, the original. You know, uh, okay, some of the original Cap comics really get on my nerves they are really bad they're really terrible and like i, I just but the think original about what written the original cat hey hey what's up, johanny how you doing thank you for coming on sorry if i didn't pronounce right, that if, right yeah if we if we could get a i don't know how we would be able to but some way to pronounce your name we 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 appreciate you right well, thank you thank, thank you, you. Feel free to chime in right now. Solidarity. We're talking about our top five favorite heroes. Yep, and I just um, brought up by Michelle, and yes, yeah, thank he you. Just by was the talking way. about, yeah, thanks, Michelle, for doing that. Yep. And he was talking about uh, Blue Marvel, and I wanted to go ahead and transition into Shazam real quick. So like, good. My my thing about Shazam is he's relate. He is the mo one of the most relatable DC characters because he's like a, a kid. Unfortunately, you know, another circumstance where the kid lost his parents, but he's with his uncle, and his uncle cheats him pretty well. In most of the editions, some like, of them and he I is think abusive, what, but that's in some of the stories. I think what really though makes Shazam relatable even more than that is his the the kid to the power. To the power. Thing. Yeah. We as children, we all wanted superpowers. We all want to be a superhero, but we never realize what comes with them until we get 
as we get old until as we you know what i mean we grow up and this and, guy is just like boom he becomes shazam yeah he's suddenly a superhero he's a no superhero. work towards it no conflict necessarily coming back towards him immediately you know what i mean eventually obviously everyone has conflict come back towards their alter egos and shazam has to deal with black adam and yeah yeah and, and i want to say i can't wait for the black adam movie too uh, we were supposed to be in well they were still technically in movie comic con, con conversation kind of because these are all characters that have been in some form of movies or shows or things like that yeah like they're in many different renditions you know what i mean everybody has their different versions oh yeah and and, and you know that's what we appreciate about it we want to see everybody's different perspectives the cartoon is going to be different than the comic in most cases that x-men one was on point like oh, we were discussing yeah. in a another episode that's so the, good the, the x-men 90s. 90s one was uh. just on point every, every episode single was, arc basically let's see all right wolverine versus black adam and why death battle that's a hard one because we're talking yeah. wolverine versus magic. magic and the problem with magic is it doesn't apply to traditional kind of like all right you, you stab something you kill it because for most other things even for really powerful people like thor and isn't that if Wolverine got the drop on someone, he might be able to kill these people. He's and he and we've seen him do that to several different characters. versions in several different universes. Yeah. He's killed several, he's killed a lot of them, dude. Like in very many what ifs and does. Like he's very powerful. However, Black Adam's an extremely powerful character, the likes of which that go up against Superman and Shazam. Shazam, I would and say this. Up. Yeah, I'd say it goes to Black Adam simply based on a head-to-head -head. if wolverine can get the drop on him he might be able to do but dude black him. adam took freaking superman and shazam on and gave them trouble for quite a while yeah together together this is Wolver this is uh superman and shazam i'm just like these oh are two goodness. extremely powerful characters. like i said if it's a head-to-head -head, i don't think wolverine really stands a no, chance i don't either but if if somehow wolverine can get a little bit of distance and come up with a good plan realistically uh, my thing about wolverine is you He's a weapon designed to kill, to kill superheroes. Yep. Not necessarily face to face though. Mm -hmm. He's a weapon. He's a weapon, and he's good. He was designed to be deployed whatever way is most effective. So if Wolverine can assassinate you, and you're not really one of those characters that's prepared for assassination, that's going to be the way Wolverine goes about it. Uh, and he's done that to several different characters. He's tried to assassinate. Uh, or has assassinated very strong characters in different timelines and this mm. and that. Uh, and that's not to say he's invincible, because he's not, and he can be beat by several several people. Magneto easily uh, beats Wolverine most of the time, especially as long as he has metal. Just no, yeah, the no metal choice, just no cold. chance, basically. Nope. There's one instance it's I can crazy, think of, dude. and it's I just... not typical Wolverine. Yeah, Wolverine is overpowered in so many different ways, but at the same sinister time, he can't super be taken Connor, What do you mean sinister, Connor? Uh, so he's asked uh, about superpowers. What is the most sinister superpower you can think of? I don't know if they have asked, but top five fights overall. Oh, fuck, Oscar. Thanks, by the way, Oscar, for coming in, bro. Wow. Um, oh, top five fights. Oh, now, are we talking... That's the other problem. Are we talking fights we want Movie? to see or okay. real fights that okay, have happened? Okay, let's break it down a little bit because this is a big spectrum. Are we talking movies? How about we do this? We'll comic. do a top five fights and we do each fight for different genres. So top movie fight, top comic fight, top fight we want to see. Uh, and then, you know, we can do... What would what, what, what we do for the last fight? Maybe An fights on TV or, or anime. Anime yeah, is a anime. good one. And then TV. TV. Rope that in. Yeah, okay, okay, so let's start with our top movie fight. And if you guys want to, please now list your top movie fight for comics uh, that you've seen and enjoy that has happened. Uh, and, you know, just let us know yeah. in the comic. And we'll let, we'll let everybody else know, too, if they're not paying attention to the comments. All right. Yeah, man. You want to start this one off? <clears throat> top movie fight. Mm. and we're talking mcu and dc this right? is everything this is basically everything, i mean okay. you could, could, you could, could do watchmen you could do uh, i was thinking still comics yeah but, but just any more than DC, any any comic you know blade uh they, there's been great fights in every single that's basically what makes a uh comic movie great as a movie and it's gonna sound cheesy but probably the civil war fight with cap 
Why Bucky, was that my number it one? Has it has to be. The choreography is so perfect. Oh my goodness! As related to the comic book, guys, Deadpool, Deadpool and, and Spider Man. Nice. Those. Those are. Uh, I'm thinking he's upcoming. Let's see, Sinister being the one that kind of scares the living daylights out of you. Also, I got a dip, guys. Have a great night. Hey, you too. We're gonna yep. and you can check the answers later, Connor. Yeah, we're definitely uh, gonna answer on this that stream for you. or on YouTube. We'll have these. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for the most sinister power, we can slip that in real quick before we go. I mean, that's such a tough question, but I think I and it's gonna sound weird because you it doesn't sound like it really would be. Uh, but Professor X always has had the most sinister power for me. Yeah. And because messing with people's minds is always so Superman seen. versus Zod in MOS. That was pretty good. Man of Steel, yup. May have been CGI heavy, but that was pretty epic. Exactly how I would imagine a big superhero fight would be if it came to life. Yeah, Josh. That we definitely agree with that one. I mean, that, that's a good scene. I, that's a good scene. It, it really is. It is. I, it, it's made my it's, list, actually. It's, the, it's actually one of the only scenes I really enjoy from most of the Superman movies because it's that action that you wanted in every other Superman it movie. Really? That, and I'm not talking early. I'm talking, the, obviously, the Superman movie right before that, it, mostly, mm -hmm. is what I'm talking about. Because that became such a thorn in the side of people for Superman movies. But that that specific movie was still good, and that scene was amazing. That scene was definitely exactly how I expected a big superhero fight to be. Uh, my second place I could even mention real quick for uh, cinematic fights is probably going to be Thor in the Destroyer because it had that similar level of really high battle. Or not Thor, uh, the, the Avengers, when you have Hulk and Thor fighting. And you see them destroying massive amounts of monsters. And... Oh, those two? Thor and Hulk? Mm-hmm. That's my number two. <laughs> it's such a great scene. That's a good one. The it smash really of Zor and Hulk that where they're on the top just boom, boom, brah, and then the whole thing goes down because they've obviously put in way more power than it appears. Let's, Let's talk, talk Logan. Logan. Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll scoot right into that we, next. We will uh, because I, man. that's my upcoming anticipated oh, one. Absolutely. That is, is the one I, we're going to be I looking at, guys. See. That is the most anticipated fight for me is who and how is Logan going to fight in this next one that's going to give him that level of challenge and destruction. Like, it looks like he's fighting an army, and that's how they're kind of getting him here. So All right. He's going to have to find an army of cyborgs. Yeah, exactly. He's going to have to, man. And while protecting, uh, well, somewhat protecting. Mm -hmm. my, I would say my second one, actually, is, believe it or not, Spider-Man 2. Oh, yeah. Um, When he was fighting Dr. Octopus. That's a great one. Man, that was some great fighting scenes. Not I was only like, that, very that true was to the one. comic. And I will say, that was a good one, and I... Gonna kind of tie this in. It may not be in my top five while I'm thinking about it here because there's just so many. I got to come up with these on the spot. Mm. Um, Spider-Man and Lizard was really good for that. That was pretty good well. too. I remember my that where he has like, the wow. whole web set. Or yeah. Whatever. yeah, and he's just like webs him up in all these different ways. I'm like, that's that was really well done. Really man. well done and really. And, and Lizard was not and I really a hope... bitch. Like, he oh no, not... he, that was a badass Lizard. Yeah, honestly, that was. Made. Uh, Logan's uh, so much greatness happening. Like I said, we're gonna have, we're gonna dip in and out of it, Andrew, so we can try to appease everyone. Mm -hmm. Also, going back to that sinister Professor X talk thing, people don't understand this, but Professor X is way more powerful than he ever uses. He's very gentle in he most situations. Just... The I there have a wow. I have a I don't know if I ended up posting it, but I've made it somewhere. Or I'm I'm working on making it. It's he's talking to somebody. Uh, and they brought him some really bad news from the future. He's, they've traveled back in time to tell mm -hmm. him this, that he has to do this. And if he doesn't, the whole all mutants oh, are going to die kind of situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So he and he's like, you've ruined my life. I hate you so much. It's like, yeah, I know that, that sucks. And he's like, you know, I could just erase your mind and tell you to walk away. And that would be the end of you. And for it some reason, that was just so powerful and scary to me. Because and I guess you could say that even yeah, most e and, except wow. for some of the strongest psychic characters and people with super strong psychic resistance, Professor X can overpower psychic dampeners. He can overpower. Well, uh, stemming off people. of Professor X, uh, actually, mine is uh, David Haller. Oh God! I'm just like, oh my God! He is he terrifying. Could have any power, any power at any moment, and he could kill you in the blink of an eye with no control. No control. Absolutely zero. He is definitely. Uh, Soups is pretty scary for that same reason. Just so much power 
That what if it was out of control? Soups. I mean, you know, sentry. Goodness. Same. Yeah, the same concept. Just so terrifying. What if you could do anything you wanted? Anything. And no one could stop you. He could just morph reality. In morph one reality. Uh, you could make a bee into a wasp. Like you could even it, just anything. You know what? We're we'll talking about it. That, like I said, they even said the the sentry's powers haven't been fully explained, but they thought. Oh, Logan. Let's talk. All right, Andrew wants to talk. Logan. Yeah. He's commenting. We're switching over to. We're Logan. switching over to Logan. So Logan. So what is... do we want to see in Logan? Yeah. Who wants to see Sinister? Are we gonna get to see Sinister just because we get to see Essex Corp? We are, and I believe it was actually confirmed. If I'm not is mistaken. it confirmed? So we're confirmed that we're actually seeing him though. Who's yeah. playing him? <sighs> I can't Have remember. Have they cast man. like they've let they haven't let it out that I'm like. I is don't it he in it, guys? I can't remember. I thought they just said that he's the enemy corp. I think the Reavers ended up being the enemy. Maybe so. Let's Purple see. Man Purple and Jessica Man Jones was crazy. He went real dark. Yes, he yes. did. Josh, that oh is what redeemed goodness. Jessica Jones was how dark, dark Purple, Purple Man was. Man, yeah. He redeemed everything about actually, Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones for me was the hardest one to get through, man. It was so hard. It was difficult it was pacing hard. and it was a crime based though. And, and she was but just we'll, we'll pull back from that. We're still trying to do Logan talk, just, obviously. Yeah, Logan. But that so you're right. The Purple Man's so terrifying, Josh. Uh, Logan, uh, I just Sinister is actually pretty fucking crazy scary too. Not because oh, of his yeah. power, I but read just too because much of Sinister, just because of how crazy he is. He's a like mad mutant scientist. Oh my god! Like imagine if you had basically immortality, the ability to alter your own genetic kind of structure, and he's he's kind of a light apocalypse, mm -hmm. apocalypse light almost, because he can kind of control his own body at will he doesn't he can't manifest powers but he he can artificially make powers he's he does so much crazy stuff and so many things he cold he's the guy who calls the morlocks he mm -hmm. gets the i can't remember if it was the mar marauders i think who killed the morlocks or if it was the reavers it was one of either the marauders or the reavers if you guys can tell me reavers back to logan which is why we're talking about Sinister. Like, who are we going to see? We've got Laura. Laura. She's yep. a little bit younger, but not too much younger than she appears. And actually, we can talk about that because that's some of her comic stuff. X-Men Evolution is where she came. She's so new. Oh, my goodness. She there is, is fresh, There is less than... Man. what? There's a little over 10 years. When did that come out? 2003? 2003. Yep. So that's just over 13 years of X-Men content, including her. And she wasn't canon until well after her introduction in the show, I'm assured. You know what I mean? I think mm -hmm. it's at least six months because they have to write her in. Um, and oh my God, Logan is just going to be so great. The We've already seen it's going to be dark and gritty. The, the head, gritty. the original Red Band trailer is still my favorite where he pops his claws right up the dude's head. Oh, oh man. Yes, that's yeah. Logan. That and, that, Logan. And, and that's the best thing about this, right? That he lobbied for this to be rated R. He did. He, he, did. he was like, I, I will take a pay cut just to make this R. That's the thing. And I really wish more people would do that to... And I get it. You gotta make movie, money, man. and you gotta do this, this, and that. That's fine. I mean, you can even think Ryan Reynolds. He stepped oh, into the producing. Well, position. not in just that. He fucking funded, funded and it. did all kinds of. And now yeah. he's doing production and directing, and and I'm glad for it. He's great. He should be. He's he's more researched, and that's the thing people don't understand. Knowledge is power, and knowledge helps you transfer this stuff. Like people want to see this stuff more. Uh, I'm gonna be sharing this. Sorry, people get annoyed in the pages on the groups. <laughs> We just we, we just love to check in on you guys. We want you guys to come join the conversation. Definitely. We want you guys to be a part of this. It's a very, very good week. I mean, we're talking about Logan here this week, guys. Oh, this yeah. is the Logan, theme of this one. Logan's Logan going great. And if next you're just Thursday. Us, hopefully, it's it's going to be so great. Like, think about it, guys. What do you guys think Thursday? of Logan? Andrew, yeah. tell, us, uh, tell, tell us what you think what of you Logan think. or what you want us to talk about. The next 23 think. looks awesome. Like, oh, yeah. She looks so beastly. I mean, that newest, that newest trailer was amazing. Folks up, man. Oh, uh, messing them up. The and dude, I, I even the dude in the store, it. it's so X-23 because early X-23 yeah, had no distinction like, uh, between right and wrong. She's a weapon. Yep. And she's just trying to get to kill that guy. He's just like, no. Yeah, he's like, no. Hey, you know, you got to buy that. Hey, flump. Ah, <laughs> no. Steals a cigar and walks out. Right. I'm like, he took the cigar on oh, the way out though. Oh God, that was so great that he stole the cigar. Who would like to see play the next Wolverine if they use someone else's role? Ah, uh, I just wanted to transition into X23 if that's going to start happening, I mean, to be it's, honest. It, I, I would because it's going to be hard. But if they do, here's the thing. If they do, which they could, you want to see, and they probably the will. The timeline reset itself. Remember, we're, yeah, we're now on the reset timeline. Honestly, if, you, if they continue off of the uh, other movie. 
Tom Hardy has been was or was that who it was? That's the, the I think it was for. Tom Hardy. Tom actually. Hardy is a pretty good choice. However, I really probably my top is Scott Eastwood. I think Scott Eastwood with the hair and stuff would make a great Wolverine because I always thought that Clint Eastwood would make a great Wolverine. Yeah, actually, in his young because days. he's dark, brooding, growling kind of. You know what I mean? Yeah, he can make a better Wolverine that are that has those more, you know, fearsome instincts. Definitely. But I, I, you know, I actually like the thought of Tom Hardy. I, I really do. Like I, I think said, he's I'm, got the look, man. Like I said, it's always that's my personal preference of these two, but I do recognize Tom Hardy looks that like Tom he's Hardy got looks like he would be very good. I've yeah. seen them both in uh, the the photoshopped, you know, with the hair or in the. Because they do that a lot on uh, pages and stuff is they'll Photoshop them into the role, basically, and say, this is how they would look. This is why they would be good. And I think they're really just trying to lobby for their person to get picked. You know what I mean? And hope Hollywood sees a post get pumped up. Or just Remember, you guys, you can affect social change in all kinds of ways. Hopefully. All kinds of ways. I mean, think about it this way. It... Anything could domino. Any piece of information yeah, that one goes thing out could just another. lead to another. Butterfly you know effect I mean? is insane. You shouldn't have underestimated. That is for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, who who else would we want to see? I don't really think of anyone off the top of my head. I've seen a lot of suggestions. But those uh, two I are saw really a weird. random Mel Gibson one. I'm like, <sighs> not going to happen. No. Old man the real, Logan. The real question is, do you have an... Do you have any actor that you think would be well suited for a role? Well, yeah, let us know. We want to know exactly what you think about it as well. Seriously, like any actor. Uh, did you hear uh, Donnie Wu or Donnie? Who is it? Uh, who played Glenn? No, 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 no. Um, I can't remember his name. Donnie who wants to be Namor. Oh, yeah. The dude that wants to be Namor. I can the, never remember. The guy in Rogue One? What yeah, the guy in Rogue One. His name is Donnie. I always forget his name as well. I'm not going to lie, guys. We've only seen Rogue One once, y'all. Yeah, I mean, we're still in we to go. We need to go back to that. Oh, come on. Where? Oh, man. Also, oh, just... Namro. Sorry, guys. Uh, also, uh, Logan. Brian T. There was someone else, though, too, that wanted to be Namor. Recently, that suggested they wanted to be, and I can't find it. TMNT, huh? Oh, man, TMNT. Logan, though. Yeah, Donnie Yen. Sorry. Donnie yes, Yen. Andrew. Yep. Donnie Yen. If they had Vin Diesel play Logan, you could take him serious. I don't know, <laughs> no. man. The problem is he's just not... That ain't his character Logan, type. Yeah. Yeah. Just because he's kind of the side. Cause he's got to be... like If, if you want to be Logan, you got to kind of have that rugged, scruffy, like, stocky Animal. appearance. You gotta Animal. Look wild. Yeah, you got to look wild. wild a little bit, you know? And I feel like Tom Hardy could portray that well because he's kind of stocky. He could and I feel like Eastwood is a very much the way The he, same as yeah. well. Like, he, he he has some scruff. He's stocky. He's I will say that Hardy's guy. definitely probably got the build of Wolverine more. Yeah. He's well, what if Homeboy guy. put on some, some I pounds? mean, that's why Eastwood could. Don't get me wrong. Eastwood could pack but, up. But uh, what else do we think from Logan? Like, all right, so as, as far as Logan, where do you want to see the next movie go? What do you want to see? Like, where do they go from this movie? Do they go back to the timeline with the X-Men? Do they go with the Avengers if they can? They won't be able to, but do they do they go further with X-23? Do we go with a new Wolverine? Like, what do we do? We're hitting an area that we've had Wolverine now for upwards of 15 years, I feel like. And, you know, when's it, when, when is does, it going to end? When does what, it end or what does it what turn happens? into? What happens, yeah. Right. We you don't either know. evolve or you die. And I think what's, what's going to end up happening is there's so many X-Men. I think they've got to go with more X Men. Into other X -Men. They're doing the cloak and dagger. They're doing X Men, X -Men Supernova. Supernova. Mm -hmm. They're doing. Uh, I think they just even got another series approved. I thought I saw. Really? Yes, I swear to God. Really? It was some I new, did not see that. I swear they got some new thing for the New Mutants stuff besides Superpower. Some other thing uh, that they're going crazy with everything, man. And they need to. And they and we've seen Legion. We've seen Defenders. Uh, who would you like to see in the X-Men 
I could play Wolverine. <laughs> you could do it, Andrew. Oh, yeah, Andrew, you can, man. Any dream can become a reality. Just go, just go in an audition, be yeah. bulked up, and do the lines. Say Bubba. <laughs> go for it, man. Yeah, I Bubba. say go for it. What's this about? <laughs> do a Canadian accent. Right? Ah. What's this about? Even though Logan doesn't, doesn't have, have one. one. No. But, but you, you could you could chalk it off for uh, special effect. Um, but what, what, what X-Men would you like to see, Leo, to get their own... I mean, like, I'm honestly, I, I'm trying to think of some of the less core. Like, I'm, I'm glad that we're going the way of like David Haller and some of the mutants as a whole, right? As like, I would to love Justin. to even see more uh, Magneto Have you and what's heard? happening on his end more. That would be cool. Maybe the um, Magneto, maybe, maybe the Brotherhood. Of yeah, the bro- stuff. the Brotherhood of Mutant stuff. Absolutely, man. What about um? Have you heard about they want to kind of do some Captain Britain stuff? If they did that, they could I, bring I saw in a little bit of that, and, and I'm like. like uh, I, I could be okay with that. I, I would have to see. Uh, the other some thing the I want to see, just... in because it's just one of those things that's a cultural thing, what if I want to see, uh, I think it's Sunfire, uh, the Japanese mutant. Sunfire? I think it's either Sunfire or Fire. Hmm. Sunfire. I swear. Hero. Oh, that's eerie, because I didn't look where my thing was typing. Sunfire. Shiro Yoshida, yes, Sunfire. The Protector of Japan. Sunfire, the Protector of Japan. Guys, I don't know the Sunfire Fire. If you guys know him, let us know. I mean oh, I love Sunfire. You'll you might know him. He's actually very popular if I can find his if I can get this thing pictured. Sunfire. Oh, okay, yeah. You know who Sunfire. Know. He's like the Japanese uh, a Marvel awesome hero, guy, basically. Man. Oh yeah, he's and sh- sh- and his different versions are insane. You mm-hmm. should see him. This is Age of Apocalypse Sunfire. Oh my goodness. Who is? Yeah, he's crazy. He's like an alien or something. He's, he's a vengeful man. That's what he is. Holy crap. Uh, but you know, there's lots of stuff going on. We appreciate, by the way, all the comments, all the views. Yeah, thank you guys for Seriously. participating. Let us know any other movies you want to talk about. You know, we're still kind of in the movie section, which we might go ahead and transition. I think it's about. Our, I think it's about a good we, time. We'll you still know? keep talking about stuff, but I think it's time to transfer to TV series. Yeah, and, uh, and we had a, quite a bit of on the lineup today, guys. Like we, we're gonna talk about some of the more classic X Men series cartoons that they could have drawn some attention from. We're also going to talk a little bit more about um, what Wolverine and the X Men. Yeah, that one as well. Just a little bit. A little yeah, bit about we're Legion brush and over Iron We'll brush over some stuff. We're, we're really going to go. So, with the upcoming Logan, it's important that you kind of get as much Wolverine stuff as you can. Mm-hmm. Now, the classic uh, X Men is going to give you, you know, the '90s X Men is going to give you all of the basic kind of Wolverine with the X Men plot. And that's kind of what they based, but. A lot so of people, personality yeah. Off of a little, oh right? well, most of a lot of his yeah. stuff is based off of that, and that personality is actually very, very true, true to the comics. Oh yeah, which is good about the nineties cartoon. Oh, the, it, was like very, it was very, it was very true. It was very true to character and storyline in a lot of this. Absolutely. Uh, but the other one that people might not have checked out because it's more recent and based on a slightly different timeline is Wolverine and the X Men. And this one is kind of Wolverine is taken over after an attack on the school, and Charles Xavier is in a coma. But he's actually mm. receiving messages from future Charles Xavier because it's basically kind of Age of Apocalypse, see fu- Days of Future Past storyline. Wow. Yeah. If you could write up, what does it say there? If you could wife up any superhero, who would it be and why? Oh, man. A plus A, not Anne. Okay, yeah. How about you first, man? Well, yeah, let us know, Misael, what's your what favorite, favorite superhero, and we'll superhero let you Superhero know. win. I mean, superhero like win, yeah, or superhero, sorry. Or superhero, we well, won't discriminate, of I course. Don't know, it's, that's the thing, like, the actor versus actresses versus actor thing. Do they want to be actresses, or is actor a group, you know, non-gender You know, specific we're actually term. going to just say anything, really. I mean, it's just, you know, we know what he means. We know what he means. But yeah, let us know. Oh, he's like, yeah, he's thinking. thinking. So let us know. Think. Yeah, but meanwhile, uh, like I said, check out Wolverine and the X-Men. It's a very good chance to see Wolverine as like a leader in action. So that'll help. That you one get I haven't seen. Him. Wow. I might have to go ahead and check it's that out myself. Like, I don't know if it only has one or two seasons, but it does not have a lot of stuff as wide. I think it it's all 26 it episodes. What was it? Yeah, like that's that? probably about it. Uh, it looks good. 
it, it, it and it is good. It's uh it's very very unique and it's a da darker X Men for sure because you get to see the kind of destruction in the future that you did see in the '90s X Men, but you haven't seen a lot of since. Yeah, exactly. Because you can't do too dark anymore these days on cartoons. Uh, unless you go anime or oh my goodness movie. if you go anime it's or limitless oh limitless anime is so crazy There's some crazy ones um, we'll get into that later yeah aside from you know wolverine and the x-men and x-men previous stuff there's not too, a lot of stuff coming up. And yeah, there's not too like, much recent. There's not too much recent tv adaptions of wolverine now we no. might see some in this upcoming you know chopped um, a couple of years Fox, because Fox, Fox is going to do another X Men series. Yeah, so he might do be a in there and TV show. He might make a couple of appearances. They got the It'd be cool if it, was, it would be awesome if it was Hugh Jackman. Cameos, well, it'd be nice up. if it was, but even just some cameos or hints and throws, like Weapon X file here. Like, yeah. People have no idea how Easter much that eggs. we just feed we on that. Some Easter eggs yeah, are exactly. awesome, and being good canonical Easter eggs don't hurt. Exactly. Um, but but rushing into the next section, we. You know, some oh, things that are going on. He said Supergirl. All right, Misio said Supergirl. Now you. Supergirl. Hmm. I'm going to let Leo go first on this one. Oh, man. It's hard to choose. Mm -hmm. um, probably the current Wonder Woman, man. She's a looker. I mean, what's her? Gal Gadot? Whew, she's oh, are we cute, going man. movie adaption? I, guess I mean, I guess he didn't really, he didn't really say. say I mean, yeah. did you mean comic adaption? Because I would probably have to go with uh, early Carol Danvers. Early Carol Danvers is hot. Yeah. She's pretty attractive. I, if we're going comic books, it's funny because I'm probably going the other way. Uh, I I have to go Wonder Woman in the comic books because Wonder Woman in the comic books has always been so beautiful. Yeah. So well drawn. <laughs> such a. She's an Amazon. Not she's not like, up too much. She's at any. Yeah. But you know, it's just. Um, she's definitely. She's, she's definitely attractive. high quality and it's attractive. High quality. Uh, high quality. No, not to be <laughs> but I, actress. I, if you're talking actresses, I'm definitely gonna go with Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman. Oh, She's man, looking real, real good. She definitely is. Um, chick that played Gwen Stacy was cute in her own way too. She was too. Original Mary Jane for me. Oh man, I like really? a redhead, and I like Mary Jane. Ah. I'm in love with Mary Jane. <laughs> She's my main. There you go. Yep. No man, I I, I, I can't, can't man. I can't I like do that. Too. I can't do the Mary Jane actress. She's I, just, I, I like her. I don't she's know. She's not cute to me. I, I but but, was, hey, but everybody, yep. Uh, and so going on from that, we have upcoming series Legion being probably one of the. Oh yeah, it's been most up to date right now. It's, oh yeah, it's, it's are the you, newest, are you the freshest one. Sort of. <laughs> I've been through episode two now. That's good. Uh, I mean, what did you think? Two, I felt like was a lot more action earlier, but maybe not. Like, I like to. I thought it was pretty good. I man. can give you I only a little to give spoiler, it one more watch because I wasn't paying completely as much. Focused. That's the problem is a lot of Legion is paying attention yeah, because it is. a lot you gotta of keep up. Audio, some of these other ones. Music. It's like oh, I could hear it and a lot of things good. you can listen to. Yeah, like Jess, Jessica Jones was kind of that way for me. I didn't have to watch for a lot of. Wow, it. yeah, that one was the hardest one to get by for me. Um, I, I can't get by too many of the, um, what is that uh, Marvel TV show, Agents of Shield. Can't get by that too much. It's a little different. Um, it, it's a little difficult. Ghost Rider stuff is awesome, but like some of, uh, like I so said, uh, the two the series is like on on season off season. Uh, Legion's great. If you haven't seen episode three, more action. It's great. I'm I'm looking forward to. Oh, that. I can't wait. I I don't even know how many episodes they have in this the season, but. I want to say it's, it's not like going to be enough. Eight or nine? It's, no matter how many it is. Oh, yeah. We'll be left on a cliff. And we'll like, be ready I mean, for it, another it, it's, it's just, I think it's so good it's already inevitable. that they're ready for the next one. They talk about it, that he's been working so hard to make this. They've the Even the actors in the interview talk about it, like he doesn't let them know some of the plot stuff a lot of the time. Yeah. You don't get your chart, your script until the couple, a week or two before you shoot mm -hmm. or whatever. And even then, like a lot of it's like on the set. You're going to figure out what's really going on, apparently. And uh, they've done interviews and they continue to do a lot of stuff. Uh, There's Legion so much content so that just keeps on popping it, it out does. about Legion. And, and Mar Iron Fist is now kind of doing Yeah, it. Iron Fist is really starting to speed they up, guys. Just, they just started that, too. They did, and they're, a, what, a month out? A little, little under a month out. And they just released an interview uh, with the guy playing Danny Rand. Don't remember his name. Sorry, we're bad with names. I'm bad with I mean, it's okay, but that guy actually seems like a really good Danny to me. He is. And I always 
uh, it, the, the Spider-Man got me with it too. I didn't realize until I w- paid more attention to interviews and stuff. British, man. British, And yep. they are so good at putting on yeah, American Yeah, Tom Holland. Like, Tom Holland really can put on a good uh, American accent, and I appreciate it. He can, because that guy is just... I don't know. I, I, can't I really do like him as Spider-Man. At all, you know, yeah, I can't. I can't do it at all. I'm not like, even going to try, guys. <laughs> I'll do it, but I'll suck. <laughs> it's not Fucking too bollocks. bad. It's fucking bollocks is what it is. Y'all can judge. Y'all can be the judge of the accent. I'm horrible at it. I'm gonna stop it now. I've done it over too. But, but uh, yeah, Iron Fist is looking really clean, man. I mean, it's, uh, it's it, be, I'm just loving the scenes. The new commercials released. have been great, and yeah. like that interview is great because you get to see a little bit more behind the kind of like what's going, what's going on. on. Like yeah, the, you get the, a little bit of clue in as to what's happening. Well, the story is a little bit more like apparent than it is in the commercial, where you're like, oh, evil so- shadow organization, cool. Yeah, right. Well, not cool. Great. But great. Yeah, basically. It's like, uh, it's very, it's also kind of very Green Arrow-esque, and I'm hoping that they don't make the same mistakes they made there. And it doesn't look like they are. They look like there's so much comedy in this. That yeah, because be I think Rand. it's going to start coming, like, it, it might not, like, maybe I, the first I, episode or two it's not, but he's like, yeah, like, it I think it's going to start right away. Up. It's like, I'm Danny Rand. Okay, guy, let's get you out of here. I got it. That would be awesome. Even yeah, the interview, you see, it's like, I don't, it's like, I'm Danny Rand. Call security. Oh, I don't think they're. Good. It's like <laughs> it's hilarious. so great, and I'm and it's I'm enjoying everything that's coming out so much. Uh, speaking of stuff that's been coming out, um, Seven Deadly Sins. Wow, that man! I just Season? started on Seven Deadly Sins, oh, and it is an amazing oh, anime, and you, guys. You, and you gotta check it out. Season two. Um, and I'm not. I haven't checked it out. I've had a friend check it out. It's only got four episodes. Yeah, it's I a heard filler that. season too. It's just got. It is forms. not based really? on the manga at all. Why did they do I that? Well, I guess they did it to keep some attention on. Yeah, I'm guessing that they're in production for the next season, and they're just using this to keep attention on it and keep people semi pleased. And uh, it, and I hate it. I'm like, ah, it's no good series would do that. But then you have Bleach. There's a filler season every two or two seasons or so, if not more. Um, and the same could be said for Naruto. Exactly. Uh, Dragon Ball Z is one of the few ones that that really didn't happen that much, except for like once. Uh, in between the Namek arc, I think there's like some filler where they go to like a weird little side planet. Yeah, but, and that yeah, might, that's thing, like a small snippet. And that's not in the manga, I don't believe, but that is in the anime in Japan. It's just not in the manga, which they mm-hmm. do. I mean, all those sub arcs too are in the anime in, or in Japan too. They're just not in the manga. They're not in the manga. And some of them are even canonical, I've learned. Some of those side really yeah a lot of I them like, especially were. like bleach has some that they put in that were canonical where they were like all right this isn't really in the manga but we're going to show you back way in time and uh, i believe uh not bleach but or not uh, i think naruto does it a couple times too and there's there's several shows uh speaking of stuff like that coming out we've talked to iron fist defenders in the long run is going to be defenders great. looks like it's going to be good and you know i'm gonna have to debate with jack so i think they might move a little bit to a Heroes, like heroes for hire. I just can't see it coming. It, I can't see it's it coming. It's gonna happen, guys. Defenders. I just he want wants to happen. So bad. Here's what I see: a, a well, I a web the heroes based, for hire. A web based series is what I would see from that, like no, a YouTube based series with a, YouTube, a subscription man. fee. I don't want a YouTube. I don't want I it want either. But that's what I see Netflix. if it ever comes. I want a Netflix. The great thing about it though is, and here's the problem: the problem is it's being produced directly by Marvel, so it's still a huge studio production. Yeah. Whereas if you have a tinier production house, it might not be as professional, but we could have way more content because they don't have to go through all the hoops mm. to push it out. They just have the licensing. They they do the simple content. They move the story. They Now, obviously, we like the better content stuff. We want more stories, and we have to compromise on one or the other. And I'm glad we get what we get. But mm. I, And I would like to see Heroes for Hire. I just don't think... It depends on how the numbers do. If they get some great numbers, so watch it, guys. Watch, watch the it. Fenders. Yeah, let's, watch the let's shit. Let's watch it together. Five Actually, star the fuck out of it. Watch Actually, it. You know what? We'll go ahead and do maybe like a little bit of a. Dude, we should do a live, live watch. Yeah, yeah, we'll dude. do a live watch session. We should definitely do those sometimes. Maybe those will be like extra streams on our additional content. If you guys haven't known, we're doing, we're trying to get our website stuff eventually going probably here. We have we're, stuff on different. March 15th, my website is opening up. It's called The Blurred Blog. Nice. B T H E, as you know, Blurred, B L E R D, blog, B L O G dot com. Nice. And it's coming up here March 15th. I'm going to be opening my own blog. 
writing a lot of my own stuff, a lot of editorial and evergreen stuff, you know, nice. a lot of my own opinion. I'd love to have you guys come check it out. It's going to be an awesome adventure. Uh, and if you guys want to check out my website, uh, www.3dproductionsinc.com. 3D is in a three and a D uh, production spelt productions and ink is in incorporated.com. Uh, if you check me out there, you can find all of the new music. I actually just have a release from one of our other 3D Productions artists, Breeze. I'm on the chorus, actually. It's an original song. Got a beat by a local DJ, DJ Wink. And so uh, that's for sale on the website. We've also got a bunch of free music, free video game uh, streaming content. We're always releasing new stuff, playing new games uh, for on These guys are just a multi media company, man. And we were actually uh, do we we used to do a lot more too. We used to do video editing and video shooting and nice, and uh, skits and graphics stuff. And we're hopefully getting back to it. But right now we do gaming, we do audio, and uh, we'll, we're hoping to do some more tutorial videos. And I want to do some comic Be videos, kind of like comics guys. explained. Be on the there's a lot of stuff I want to do if we if I get the chance. Uh, and uh, now that we've kind of gone through that a little of our introduction, you know, check it out. The stars, the music, the videos, Absolutely. the blogs. The and I'm going blog. to be opening a YouTube channel eventually, guys. Nice, so. dude. You got to have that YouTube. Yep. Uh, well, be hopefully YouTube. we do have hopefully our we'll Comic Con YouTube, too. too, where you can check out uh, previous Past recordings. episodes. And we'll definitely we're, start we're, putting up some more content soon, guys. Yeah, we're we trying to catch up. 7, 2017. We got to start doing that when the good stuff comes out, guys. And we're just about to get to it. We are. And as it comes out, we'll be releasing more episodes will be you know it might even be next week guys we never know we're gonna be talking after this we might have a guest next week surprise we might we might not i don't want to get your hopes up too much i do want to address this question because misa asked it just a, a little bit ago do you guys watch dragon ball super i yes. do i'm not caught not up caught up either i am not caught up i am just at the part where we're to black goku and super saiyan rose I'm a little bit behind that, so let's not spoil too much. I, there, I'm not going to say even much about it because we can't spoil in here, but I know we do, and that, you know, that's the problem. Until it's been out for a couple more weeks. This problem, though, is this: those episodes have been out for now mm -hmm. probably a couple oh, months. A couple months, but... But we don't... We haven't done it, so obviously we don't want to spoil for ourselves. If you would like to message us or com hopefully not comment in the comments, we don't want other people to spoil stuff for them. But if you want to message us and talk to us about it, we'd be okay yeah, about let it. Let us probably. know, guys, if you want to message uh, or if you even just want to just pop a Twitter's little something a great in place there. For that too. Yeah, go uh, ahead and uh, hashtag us at Comic Convo. Spell like the the video is. Yep. Um. So go ahead and hashtag us. You yep. know, if you guys just want to drop a quick line, go ahead. We we would love anybody. Oh, the to next come arc is going to be epic. That's what I've seen today. I do know what the next arc is, Misa, which is the Universal Tournament arc yep. start. And well, that's why I'm ready to start. Broly thing. But the oh, problem is, I, the reason I haven't caught up is it's all in Japanese, and I'm going to have to it go is. through the subs and read it all, and so I'm going to have to and do That's a, a little bit pesky. It's I mean, a little you pesky. Know, you it's just listen and, you know, do something else. Or... Unfortunately, we do a lot of that. We have multiple content streams. We, we're always making different we're content, so we don't so we... always have time to catch everything. Uh, me and Leo have been using Comics Explained recently to preview well, some that's comic not arcs. even i mean you can't catch up to every you, there's no way thing. you can read there's and no watch way. everything uh but yeah the next arc is definitely going to be epic with the universal fight and it's something i do want to take the time out of my life to watch and be uh, familiar with but i'm going to just have to wait till i either have the time or until they get to the subbed episodes yeah even Michelle, the thanks sub. for uh commenting yeah dude night, you, you're you're killing, killing it, by, killing the it way. by the way share share with some and friends Andrew, if you wanted to join this, viewing i see you still hanging out and we we, we really if you want to chime in anything about back. pokemon at any point or I mean, logan we'll, we can always go back yeah uh really a lot of what uh we talk about is going to be based on the comments yeah, uh, absolutely. More than what our plan we're, is, we talk based on We're directional. On we're, we, we direct the conversation towards you guys. I mean, we've we've actually been talking, believe it or not, guys. We've been talking for an hour and a half now. We are very much uh, kind of coming into very the end of our thing. The... Uh, we're, we're probably just about ready. I do want to mention, before we leave the TV section, the Rick and, the Morty, Rick and Morty Season 3. If you haven't seen it, go check out the teaser for Season 3. It is a great surprise, guys. You're going to love we it. can't ruin it, but... You're going to love it. You're going to just laugh your butt off. You're going to laugh. You're going to laugh. Oh, my god. That's goodness. all I can say. Yeah. We'll scoot right into the game section. We'll, we'll, these are kind of some things we'll breeze over. Um, I don't yeah. think there's a, too many huge things that are out right now. No, we've got, some, we've got some big, a uh, real popular one right now. And it's funny because I was catching a bunch of viewers from it, even without posting shares and stuff, was For Honor. For Honor is it's new. It's been out about a week, maybe a week. two. Was I it? think... 
a week. It might even be just a week. It is. You know what? It is a week because I remember I was just making content. Out. I'm actually gonna have a video out probably uh, Monday, uh, doing a walkthrough on some of the story mode, and then probably some play will be on our, the Patreon account for uh, my company as well as the website. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that. Uh, besides For Honor, which, by the way, I'll do a little bit of a review at the end here, but just check it out. It's a great game. It's based on, like, knight fighting slash swords. Slash swords uh, samurai. That real kind of thing. It's knights, vikings, vikings and, and samurai. Samurai. And I and think they're going to put in additions of later, probably. Maybe hopefully some ninjas, I'm, man. Dude, I'm hoping just more countries, you know, yeah. more countries and different fighters. There's Absolutely. all kinds of... There's all kinds of... Boxer? Shit. Africa, man. Yeah. Bam. They have the, the, the metals, the thing. They got spears. They had all kinds of the Native Americans had a ton of different weapons. Oh, Gladiators. Man, awesome. From Rome. Gladiators. You know what I mean? Just a ton. But they, I think they, they, I don't know if we're going to see that. They are doing some uh, Battlefield 1 expansions uh, recently, too, for the French. Really? And a couple new maps. Yes. Wow. But uh, if you don't have I the season pass, that. it's going to be a nice $40, $60, I believe. You have the season pass? I do not have the season pass. Shh. I just saw them saying, hey, do you want to get this? And I was like, no, I bought the Titanfall uh, Battlefield combo, and I don't really have the exclusive stuff for either of them. So oh, I, did, I did get to play both of them, although I didn't get through much, as much of the campaign as I'd want. I've just been so yeah. busy. I mean, Battlefield, combos, it's been so hard busy to get with through any It's been, it's been so hard to get through any campaign, to be honest with you. They're just, like I said, we are so busy. We are. Like we've we put are, ourselves guys. at the it's center us. of a media nexus, guys, and and it's so fun. It but is. at the same time, we we are often we're left. We're on a euphoric utopia right now. We are on. Stuff. We are riding the high. Love. Thank you, Issa, for the thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, but we we are so happy to do this. But at the same time, it it is definitely a different kind of uh fandom. Like we we we're not a lot of the stuff we do for the fandom is research now. Like. I read, yes, for this, read but I also our, read Legion, Legion because I needed to yep. know more about Legion. I read... Read other comics. I read Thanos Wonder Woman. to yeah, know Thanos. more about Infinity War. Exactly. I read Infinity Wars yep. again. Um, yeah, I read Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, I, read I watch... I make sure every week before this podcast now to watch Legion. I take a sour hour aside even when I was editing that video and I make sure make my sure. main focus is the watching Legion. Mm -hmm. When there's some downtime on the show, I might go and... Do a little something on the side listening, but when I know there's action, which you can tell by sound, vid you know, video, etc., I I gotta watch it, guys. Absolutely. Uh, and and it's not to complain up. at all. It's great. I, and it gives me a great reason to watch. Yeah, it does. It and, does and even limit just, our focus. even to the point of like we're playing and gameplay videos. Oh, tons. We wanna see all kinds of stuff like that. Like I've been watching the Horizon Zero Down stuff. I wanna do more and like I said, the four honor ones are gonna be great. I've done now like the couple first couple chapters of the story mode. I wanna do some more about actual fighting because I did the story mode on the hardest mode. Really helps a lot with your Thank you, Michelle. By the way, sorry to cut you off, Axel. No, you're great. But thank you. Uh we always love having you guys here on the conversation. So much. Thank you. And Alex Welcome to the room, man. We're talking currently about video games. Right now, we're, we were talking about For Honor. We kind of transitioned a little bit. Um, um, I, I think just a little bit. Yeah, we but, transitioned into Horizon Zero down a touch. Yep. But um, we're going to... Man, that just looks like such a good game. Oh, Have I'm you so seen excited the gameplay? For yeah, I've seen it. It's very high quality. High and, quality. It's a great open world. The landscape looks amazing. Dude, and it's one of those things I'm where you just... wish you had all the time in the world to play these games. And oh, hey, Ariana. I didn't know you were watching. Thank you. Yeah, Sorry. Thank you. Uh, thank you we did see it in. Here, but like, it's hard for us to tell. If you guys don't comment, really no way for us to know. <laughs> no, I, I I didn't even see it. But thank I, you for I commenting. Like, so we, we uh, did, it, we did uh, see it. And as far as that, there's also... Uh, a good game out uh it's very popular and that's another one that's been getting me a lot of people watching with no real golf meme. with your friends golf yeah. with your friends really it is, is hilarious i've been seeing it on Twitch, i've played man. it and playing. you won't know until you've played it and then played it on change settings which is really where the fun's at guys and play with your friends really that's where all the fun's at there's mm -hmm. literally i don't even think you can I mean, you can play by yourself, but, but what's the fun in that? Yeah, you know, I mean, you want to you want to be on the multiplayer. It's only guys. like Let's five, six dollars, guys. Pick it up on the Steam store. I think you can I'll even say pick I'm it still kind of going through um, Kingdom Hearts still, and I, I'm gonna, about to buy the new Final Fantasy. Uh, it took me a minute because I wanted to ride. I didn't want to ride the wave. I wanted to make sure that it was actually a good game. Right. And I've heard good things. Lo and like behold, I said, great things. I've heard DMC slash Final Fantasy Cross, and I want to get it, but I have to go get a. Like I said, I'm hoping this new job will let me get both of the new systems in a lim in a short amount of time. Nice. Also, because I have this bad boy to pay off. 
the new computer. Yeah, was very yeah. Costly, Congratulations to this guy, guys. Yeah, it's he like got a new a job. Baby, yeah. That's Pays him more. It's gonna help him out with his endeavors. I'm unfortunately, I'm very a happy less for time him. to do side stuff, but I'm going to make sure to work even harder and get less sleep. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen to me soon. <laughs> I think. I think I, I'm just gonna be able to. I'll talk about that later. But yeah, uh, in addition to that, we got upcoming games that are really great besides ones like Final Fantasy that have dropped. Uh, we've had Four Honor has dropped. There's been a lot of stuff. Uh, we Need to Go Deeper was one good one I saw recently played mm. on like Achievement. I take a lot of rips from Achievement Hunter. Mm. Haha, I stole it. Cheek, stop me. Stop stealing, man. Why? Stop that's, stealing. That's ever. That's all content that's right. ever been ever made. All content. Stolen. Congrats. Thank you. Miss Sale. That, oh, nice. Yeah, congrats. Yeah. Congratulations, man, on the new job. Thank you so much. And thank you, Arian, for coming. Yeah, insane. thank you. Uh, the Switch should be coming out, what, within the week? Mm hmm Switch? Yeah, the Switch is coming out next week, guys. I totally forgot all about that. I, I don't I know, wish I got I, a, I wish I would have got a pre order, but at the same time I, I don't like getting I don't pre-orders. ride the wave. Also, I always go in now and they're never out of pre orders, so <laughs> they're like, Oh, we got one on the shelf. But uh, I, I have a little this one's out of it. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. But it's because might, the Nintendo has it. Like the this thing week. is, they're going to put more out very, very soon. They will this and week. And that's so people will flock to it. Yep. And uh, the, the reason being that, that they, they want to create demand, they want to create Was anybody hype. aware that they actually pulled away from the Nintendo, like the classic, the NES classic, that one? I didn't. No. Yeah, they, apparently they're gonna. They might stop doing it. Like the rumor is, I don't know if it's a confirmation. The rumor is that they're actually gonna stop producing the NES Classic. Hmm. They just came and went, and that's it. If you didn't get one, you didn't get one. Which is the disappointing. Thing is, I for could some see of that us. being the thing. I, I guarantee you that within a couple of years, someone's gonna make a rip. Like a, oh, they already have. Well, you know they have. They've already but made mod make systems. Well, yeah, but they're going to make a much more popular it because people have to have that. There's no way you're going to be able to get away with That's that. It's going to be it's it's supply and demand. That's it, all is, it is. It is. People will people will supply, supply something, something that mimics it in such a way that you know yeah, Nintendo won't be able to sue. They'll they'll basically make a mini handheld one where you can like load the game in and then download the old school game right. you already have on it. And random touch ins. It's run Nintendo. Pokemon yeah. Go got a little bit of spike. I did. It got new Pokemon yeah, and got new, new Pokemon. Uh, interactions. Items. I, if, my problem is the reason I stopped playing Pokemon wasn't because I got bored. It's because the fucking service sucked. I could never get good service. Yeah. It's, I hard, to, it's hard to stay on And I was thing. so pissed because I had a job that would have let me do stuff. But nope. Couldn't get service at all. Mm. Just could not. And I, ref and I just can't play games like that, man. I, this reason I pay more for internet. Bringing in the economics. Nice. <laughs> Economics 101. 101. Baby. Supply and demand, baby. Mm -hmm. Capitalizing. Absolutely. You gotta rope that in, man. I mean, the thing about it is that's what Our people whole... do. They just kind of start chopping through. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were ha practically half business majors ourselves. So it was like, oh, yeah, we know all. It was basically mandatory for us to learn how to not get screwed. Welcome back, Ms. Sale. Oh, it's good yeah. to see you again, man. Back to... uh, it's been a great Zelda night. Breath with of all the Wild, is that gonna be. I'm hoping that's going to be a really good one, but, and that will be the reason why I want the Switch. Oh, it basically is it the only reason to play the game. Yeah, guys. it's, the, it's the, basically the only reason to get to the Switch because what else do they have? The basic Nintendo game they're going to release with like twenty and another Mario's Kart and another uh, Mario this because I need Donkey another Mario game. game. And here's the real problem with it's NES. Just... That's the bigger problem than anything else. Is goddamn you. Nintendo for not being online multiplayer functionable as well as you should be. You should be Smash all Bros. over we that. Should have, Shame on you, We Nintendo. should have online tournaments for Smash Bros. We should have like a, a whole I database. Sh you should have people. at least an eight-player system thing set up now, and you guys have not come through. I've played Mario Kart online. I've used the Wii U. It's no. Bad. Go back to your corner, Nintendo, and fix it. We'll just ask them and actually take some notes from Sony. Take some notes from she Sony and, and Xbox. Make some rips. Jeez. I'm going to get it, but I'm just going to wait and see if it flops first. Green. That's how I feel. Green. I really hope... I'll get it if there's a good online service. I yeah. will get it at that point. Well, even more than that, even if it's not... As long as I have decent games to play, that'll give me reason. Like, if they're going to be releasing games, okay. Because it is. It's a handheld movable system. I'll have Absolutely. to pick up some special stuff to record. But it's more content. I need more content, man. That's Absolutely. why I'm getting those guys to send more oh, content you gotta in. Do some Twitch too. I'm definitely gonna do oh, that. Oh, all the Switch. Twitch. And if you guys don't know, I do Twitch at twitchtv. 
This guy's already on it, guys. TV I'm trying slash to catch up. Grave. I've been doing it for a little while, and I've done it before on and off, but now I'm really trying to be serious about it. I stream several nights a week. We release videos three times this a week minimum. This guy on it. Um, and we have for probably the last month and a half, and we had to take a break in December because of a break, but before that, we had been doing it for several months as well. Uh, we, we'll be releasing and streaming off and trying to get multiple angles here soon. Actually doing our first multiple angle video uh, come here soon. And uh, I'm super excited about that. Little... We've done some before on Gears of War, but it was more of a split screen. Yeah, it'll video. be a really good video, guys. I mean, getting different camera angles. Oh, it sounds so very interesting. I'll be definitely tuning in and we'll share it on the page. You know, and, uh, and... We would love for you guys to come check his stuff out and my stuff too. We want you guys to also like our endeavors as well. We oh, love yeah, your feedback. Certainly. We love to hear you guys talk about comics and things with us. So I think feel uh, free to join in. Yeah, I think now you know we've kind of reviewed our games a little as we went. You know, I don't feel a need to do a heavy review, especially because I'm actually going to be doing a review of For Honor Four, uh, Blast News or News Blast. Awesome, man. Yeah, that's gonna be yeah, my first go article ahead and going link up. Me that. I'll let you know when I get link through it. it. I'm gonna probably it's not gonna be super long. I think. I'm still, that's my big thing right now is figuring out the length of what people want and what... 300 to 500 words. For that's kind of what I'm figuring is about a page, maybe about a page, page and a half. Maybe. <laughs> Three to 500 words. Yeah. Which I, it's so hard to feel that, but it's really not as much as you'd think, guys. It's actually limiting more than it is freeing. Yes. And, and you guys, if you want to start writing for anything, just let me know. I can get you connected to oh, any yeah. kind of resource well, and, to write. And never be afraid to go out there and find it, guys. Exactly. Like, me and Leo, obviously we've wanted and we've gone to school for the same kind of stuff, but, but a lot of it does come from personal endeavoring out mm -hmm. and finding people, talking to people, finding resources, ideas, management, finding what you want to do and doing it and becoming good at it is realistically how you make your way in the world and to do what you want to do. Yeah, you know? I mean, I've been seeing a lot of people doing that. Like Ariana, if she's still watching, she's been prospering in her. Oh, I've, everybody I've been seeing. Uh, we've got uh, Jason Martin, our good friend Jeff. Yeah, he's been dead on the blowing come it up. up. Uh, my my friend Austin, who is also a client of mine in the studio here, uh, nice, just man. did a tour down to Texas and is doing one over to wow, Vegas. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, little I know some other people like Corey. Uh, is doing programming Corey. for uh, Corey Cothenbutel from Oh, Stink. gotcha, gotcha. Uh, is doing programming for uh, Maximus. Joey Verbeck is Dude. doing virtual reality stuff. I know, everyone's blowing up, man. I'm just and, like, wow, And Joey? I want to get into it more of it. Actually, the thing I want to get into now that I haven't been into in a second, but is really my passion, one of my passions in life that I can't live without, I'm going to have to incorporate it. What is that? Science. And yeah. the best way for me we to do it is in about about cannabis research. And so if anybody knows of any cannabis researchers or research projects, either way, I'd be fine as a guinea pig or a Let him know. scientist. I, I've got a degree in, uh, you know, research, basically. My main degree is in music uh, science. Technically, it's, what is it, a degree in, yeah, it's a, a science, bachelor's of science. In bachelor's music. of science, yeah. Yeah. And then my side degree is... Uh, interdisciplinary research techniques so nice man yeah i know it's all That's weird awesome. right uh but let me know i'd love to get into some research stuff so we got now. we got a couple more comments here we got dr strange versus shazam and ari said uh yay for you empowering others yeah we uh, to do so those things. that one's hard because but yeah shazam, shazam is yes just, shazam but then dr strange is on a whole nother level he, he shouldn't even be in the level like i mean dr strange can just take people out hasn't he taken out thanos if he's, i'm not mistaken he's taking out thanos celestials the universe at one point dormammu who is basically, basically the ruler the of ruler, an entire yeah. dimension he's basically trigon imagine that dormammu is basically trigon for all intensive purposes in my opinion Good point. Yeah, that's a great reference, actually. I feel like they're very similar characters with very similar backstories. It might even be a rip on Marvel's part. They do it. Here's the thing. They make it. They bounce it all back and forth. They do. There's rips. Aquaman. People, people, there's rips for everybody. Uh, I will say, here's the thing, though. Uh, Marvel may do more rips, but all of their rips are better than the originals for the most part. There's very few that are not. I can agree with that, actually. I there's... love Marvel, guys. I, I, and we're not going to sit here and, you know... It, it, talk about and bash dc or no because dc is DC great is and they great. have iconic it's... heroes that cannot be being there is superhero and batman or superman and batman and we're not biased. are we're not i don't want to be biased at all I, I will say i'm slightly biased towards marvel but i am not 
biased enough to say that Marvel is better than DC in any definitive they, way they at all. They have different storylines, and, and the storylines yeah. are both great. They are, and we they have them. Both. They have different universes, different tones, different ideas, and we appreciate their differences. We we will say what you can always compare two characters and personally make a decision on which you think is better, or make a decision based on a personal value. Waiting on an outside factor, you say this or that. But that doesn't mean something is better or worse, and that doesn't speak for no. either one of them. You no, know? not that's, at all. That's often, like I said, what you say speaks more for about you than what you speak about. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And so, you know, like I said, that to me, well, you know, like that's I said, I don't want to bash him either way. It's just like I said, the, the ones they often make say, so the big one that they're always bitching about is Deadshot to Deadpool. Well, sorry, Deadpool, Deadpool got a movie. Will win. Yeah, not only would he win because power base this and that, he got a movie. He won. He won as far Absolutely. as monetary comes. That shot just got a part, you know. Yeah, he, he and it was fine. Don't get me wrong. He's a great act. He's a great character. They're both I like Will Smith as Deadshot. Not That's only that, cool. I enjoy the character. The of character Deadpool. of Deadshot and Deadpool as well. better than the character of Deadshot. Yeah, they have different that. characters. I like them both. Their but base. I like Deadpool while they're more. while they they may have been inspirations or ripped. Deadpool is essentially a different character, and in my opinion, better. Better. I enjoy he's, reading about Deadpool. He's better. comedic, and he breaks the fourth wall, and he's just more of an interesting character as a whole, personality, and everything. Yep. Then and there's often Deadshot. and don't get me wrong, there's gonna be cases there, there's the other way around where DC the Yeah the DC rip or is is better than the Marvel. And and that's just the way it is. I will get one of those to you when I remember it, but uh, there's definitely there. Let me know, man. Yeah, uh, get, get one of those to me. I'll let you know when I think of it. Uh but while we're doing that, I think it's about time we transition into our graphic novel thing. We got about fifteen minutes. Before we kind of want to end off the show, uh, and we, we appreciate all our viewers. Thank yeah, you, you guys so are, much. It's been Ariana, awesome tonight. Misael, Connor, uh, I think it was uh, Tyler. Tyler, yeah. Tyler everybody, came in. Everybody, you know, everybody, everybody who so came in. Great. And if we didn't mention your name, feel free to comment. Yeah, Andrew, I saw you come the through. Comment. You know? yeah, there were so many Jose, people. I think there was a Jose that came yep. in. Yeah. Uh, so let's get started. What are some upcoming series that we have to tell them about? Uh, comic book wise? Yep. Um, I'll start off. Uh, I really can't wait, and it comes out in a couple months. Weapon X 2017. Weapon X 2017. Huh? I'm, I'm looking forward to the Thanos one. Dude, Thanos is great. It's oh, so yeah, I can't really wait to see where that. it goes. Yeah, especially because of how like if you guys haven't seen it, you'll catch up to it. But the big story is this is a comic about Thanos, and, and he's and had you one before. A lot but... About him, yeah. And he... But it, it's this one's a lot more modernized. It's better. It's just it's, it's very cleaner. interesting, it's, for sure. It is. It is, and I, I appreciate this one. Oh, also, I'm still reading. Kind, of, I'm, I'm kind of letting it build up a little bit. Um, Justice League versus Power Rangers. Oh, so that's one you guys should check out. I gotta check it out. Go into its fourth issue. I think you're right. Um, there. Darth Maul. I'm catching up on Darth Vader now. Oh, um, dude, Do you where are you at? Just give me like oh a hint. My. Goodness, what did man. you just get to the blood robots yeah that one part where they're under the thing that's Dude. exactly where i'm at oh so. god i knew it. i could tell just by your reaction i was just like that is that part where you're just like now i certainly wouldn't have Never. equipped you with syringes that empowered you off of the blood of your fleshy enemies <laughs> it's the fucking greatest thing ever if you read the darth vader series this isn't a rip because there's a lot of it in there they Don't. basically have an evil C-3PO and R2-D2. R2 okay, that's where you're going with it. I was like, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to get two spoils. No, yeah. no, super spoilers. But they, I just those two were that. just, it's like, really? Like, come on, man. The rest I, of I didn't need that to happen. I needed that. I needed that in my life, and so do you guys if you're like me. The, all right, let, let's see. The if, thing people don't get is that I'm. We have a uh, comment real quick. Oh, do we got a comment? Go yeah. for it. Oh, man. If you had to have a superhero outfit, what would. What would you have on it? But, but you, you don't, don't have, have any, any superpowers. superpowers though. I'd be dark as night then. Well, it depends on Batman. where I'd be at. Basically, but I'd be because I'd fight at night, and if I don't got any superpowers, I'm trying not to get killed most of the time. I'm guessing. So you know, I don't want to be seen if I can help it. <laughs> I just want to blend, man. I don't want to be flashy. I don't want to be a badass. I just want to get out of this Honestly, alive as a superhero. At, at that point, it's like if you had to wear a superhero costume. That means I guess you have to be a superhero. So then I would just start taking more martial arts classes, try to get myself which would be into still a totally fine. Shape. But I'm still not bulletproof. 
No, but, <laughs> but even I'm Batman like, wears bulletproof armor, man. Uh, no, man. Batman no, is like the, the badassest example of a human being superhero, and he does all that shit well, that's I just the thing. said. You have to build the armor at that point. Right, but he does the exact same. He stays dark in the night so people can't see him. And so he can surprise them, you know? And so he because them he doesn't have superpowers. <laughs> I think I would have to go with uh, just kind of like a Spider-Man, Miles Morales look. I could go with that because it's darker. I can't go with the brightness. As a, like a human mortal superhero, you are just a giant living living target. Mm-hmm. Li- literally, like... You, Cap is even superhuman, or else I'd be like, no, that's a totally yeah, ridiculous Cap outfit. Is. He, Cap he definitely is. But they Let's did see. good in the movies, though. Superpower, are, are... what would it be and why? Here's the thing. <sighs> Superpowers... Think whatever I want to become true. So then, if yeah, I thought reality, I had it, yeah, I'm reality. Probably bender. I couldn't do that, man. I'd be so scared of the David Howard thing. Like, at what point do you reach that point where what is real and what have you changed and what can you change? Because if you really have power over anything, like I said, the, I could think I control it, and then suddenly I can. Boom, done. Boom, I guess. But then that's only if you could control it already, right? Technically, like yeah, I was saying. Right. Uh, so here's the thing, and this is why that power scares me is because of David Holler Legion. Um, the Man, power he's a scary he mother. the pro- all right. Ooh. So if you've read the Legion uh, legacy, legacy from X Men, awesome, and it, it it goes really into the depth of how crazy it is Legion's uh, got the ability to alter space and time at a cosmic level, basically meaning anything he does has multitudinous everlasting effects he diverges universes he creates bubble universes himself and here's the problem and the thought that always runs through my head this is a mutant with the power to alter space time and reality itself who by definition has a mental disorder that alters him from being able to totally understand perceive and accept space time and reality Hmm. How point. much of his, his illness, illness is a result yeah. of him altering, altering time and space around you him? You got a question. When you alter well, the, the past, thing about it, though, no is in things. his origin, his origin, he didn't start really finding all this out until a little while. Oh, no. They don't even really get all that until probably Age of Apocalypse is where he really manifests. And they say, this exactly. is Legion. Legion has come so together. He, but he was already kind of messed up. And, and that's kind was. of my thing. But that, But that was because of powers power, and psyches and of, of an immense him. power and in the comics guys he has like big hair giant he hair but even more and... uh but even more than that it's like just the immense the immense amount of power power yeah this is a man who can go toe-to-toe with professor x in the mental realm gene gray as a telekinetic he he could match anyone's power on any I think level I'll, I'll, basically. I'll rewind a little bit and make it to the point where it's kind of like a green lantern type you know what I mean? I mean, I even just even just Legion to the point of maybe not real altering time. Because I no, think no, that's no, really no, where he no. messes up. Because yeah. Legion can alter time. It it would be reality bending in the in a in the more, more minor sense. Minor maybe sense. maybe more like Molecule Man. Mm-hmm. Molecule exactly. Man controls the world around him. Maybe mm-hmm. and he could control time or just space. Just like but that. Does not. I agree. Uh, Sidekick of any superhero will do. Taurus equals stubborn and controlling superpower. Apparently so. But if I if I had to make a superpower, I think, or if I had to have a superpower, honestly, I'd go Flash and super speed. Nice man. Do you? And the reason being more personal than a superhero. Are you talking Flash, super speed, speed force? I mean, all the whole package, basically. If I could, but realistically, about, but you... realistically, all I want is superhuman perception, though. Okay, okay although gotcha. super speed actually to a limited extent too, because I want to be able to do these things as I perceive them at super speed, mm-hmm. and really, I'd use it to watch and read and do stuff like comics and books and. Shit but then at super that speeds. that also begs the question of control. What if you accidentally do go back in time on accident because you're running? Just like well, Flash. I mean, you could, but then... And like I said, there there are, but I feel like that's a much less accidental than David Holler, who has no control over David what David Holler, he though, I wasn't he talking is the most that. I know, but the Flash, often when he goes back in time on accident, then makes a choice in the past to change something. Yeah, and sometimes it's messed things up, as we know, mm-hmm. but... And not saying you couldn't accidentally mess things up anyway, but I feel like that uh, that's a risk I'm willing to take. More so, yeah. and like I said, it's just a bigger rewards, bigger risk kind of thing. Like, are you willing to risk five hundred thousand dollars to get that million? Is David Holler? Are you willing to risk the chance that you might be a total psychopath for the chance that man? And nah. he's not a total psychopath. <laughs> he was originally kind of, but 
but that's the whole thing. Or would you better flash? All right, there's here's the one in one hundred thousand chance that I may accidentally run myself out of existence. Or and it might not be one in a hundredth. You might have a quite a depending on how it's it's all about control. It's the it, same thing about my I powers. would say too, like, but that that's all also about control. Remember the Flash is often pushing himself beyond his speed when he goes out Absolutely. of control. Absolutely. That's why he is like you pushed yourself too far, you pushed yourself too yeah, fast. Yeah, but like and don't get me wrong, his fear they talk about it actually in the Justice League uh animated series, great series, where mm. the his fear from um Doctor so from Wally Nightmare. West? No, no, no. This one would have been Barry Allen. From the We're Justice talking League. about Justice League Unlimited. No, he was the Justice original Justice League one too, wasn't he? I thought he was. No, that's Wally West. Is it? it? I thought it was. That's Wally West, man. It would make sense though to have it then be unlimited. I'm fairly BC sure. Barry. No, you check that up. Unlimited. Unlimited. But while is... we but while we check that up, either way, his greatest fear was going too fast and being unable to interact with the world around him because he had and <sighs> he had entered a realm of speed so quick that nothing. You know what I mean? He could not interact with everyone. Everyone else I was understand. standing still, basically. Yeah, yeah. That was it was a whole episode almost, I believe. Or it wasn't a whole episode, but that was his part of the nightmare episode. I swear it might be Wally, him. man. I don't know. Yep, look. That's uh not the one from the thing though. Well, that's just the that's like, that's the Google character. Look, I'll go down. Yeah. It is Wally West. It might be. Which I was I was stunned when I learned that. I was like, What? Which doesn't make a lot of sense considering it's some of the people. some of the well, I mean, you looked for the cast. So these are the voice actors. Yeah, that's true. Characters here. I might do... Uh, the problem with Unlimited, too, is... There's so Unlimited so might people. be Wally West, but then... No, nah, the original, was, I'm telling you, man. I'd like... To, I've got to, I think the original one would be easier to look up. Because you don't have to go through the huge... See, yeah, that's the problem. You keep going to the... Yeah, uh, well, while second. that goes, either either way, the the episode regardless shows him doing that. Whether it's Barry or Wally, that it the, it happens in the episode. Uh, in his original. All right, maybe nice. Kevin Conroy is coming back for the game. By the way, Philip Michael Flat. Oh yeah, Wally West. Yep. It, it was weird, dude. So somebody actually clued me into that. I didn't think it was Wally West. It I doesn't make it a lot Allen. of sense to me either. It, it wouldn't be the right age. No, Wally's not as old as Barry. No, and Barry's the Justice the, League. Not even the just that. There was a lot of implications that they were very close. And while Wally West was a big part of the Justice League, he was never close to the original members in that way. That's like true. Barry Allen was. Um, I, I guess it could make more sense because Jon Stewart was... Yeah, you know what? They even say Wally. But then why does... And he has orange hair too. And they didn't have Cyborg in that. They didn't, and, and but and they have John Wally Stewart and Cyborg. But now that you orange. mention it, that they do have an orange orange hair, and Wally has no wait. Who has orange hair? Wally. Yeah, he does have orange hair, and he did he in that? Yeah, he has he orange did. hair. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, because Lex takes over Wally's. So that was body. an accurate. That was a decently accurate Wally because he's. It was. It was, and I think they actually even say his name at one point. Now that you mention that, yeah, they do. But I don't feel like it was a very good portrayal then, because that Wally is a portrayal of. League. Well, no, not even just Wally as the Flash is nowhere near as goofy as uh, Barry yeah, Allen was, was as the Flash. Yeah. They were depicting a Barry uh, Allen Barry Flash Allen as a Wally, Wally West. I like how we just diverged into that entire thing. If you could be a sidekick of a superhero, who would it be and why? Not the Sentry sidekick, that's for sure. Have you seen the Sentry sidekick, Scout? No, nah, what happens to Scout? The Void rips his arm off, I think. And, like, scars his face. Void being Sentry. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. And then he erased his mo- it's like, his whole fucking thing. And there's worse ones to be, like, probably not Jason Todd either. Oh, the thing absolutely is, is not. there is there ever a great sidekick Dangerous. to be besides maybe Dick Grayson? I guess Dick. So Batman now. Dick was good. Batman. Was good. Oh, well, Damien's good. If you could be any, well, that's the thing. He's I asking. Think... He's not asking which sidekick we would be. He's saying if which we hero be, we would, would sidekick. sidekick of... So yeah, not I'm Batman. Saying, not Batman. No. Not. He would they be all the ended worst. Up up. They hate him too. Almost all of them hate the fuck out of him a Almost. little bit. A little At bit. At least. It's like, when I say that, girl, they... But... No. No, she does too. Yeah, no. That little point. bit of yeah. despising because of the Joker, the Joker thing, thing is always... Thing. Yeah. Same for Jason Todd, whereas Dick hates him because of that kind of cold, non-father thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and one of the new... Jason Todd, he kicked him. Jason Todd out of the Robin role. And then... Well, I eventually, mean... Eventually... Eventually, he 
Dot Dot got killed by the Joker. (laughs) There's a ton of them. brought back. Um, Sidekick of any hero. Probably... I'm going to say Iron Man. Just because... Just because... I was going to say Cap. I wouldn't do Cap either. Look what happened to Cap's sidekick. Ooh, true. (laughs) (laughs) Like I said, what sidekick makes it out of this bitch in one piece? You either become a hero or die trying. (laughs) Holy shit. Um, Maybe Spidey then. I would be Spider-Man Spidey. Psychic. Especially if I could have his powers. If you That'd could be, be cool. Miles Morales kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be good. I, that's the other reason I would do Iron Man, too, is because like I feel like Iron Man doesn't have that many like hardcore villains that would go after you that much. The ones He's got that, Riri Williams for he, a little bit. Well, I mean, yeah, kind of to a point. But even but even more than that, like he would give you a lot of support, I feel, even if you wouldn't be the best mentor sometimes. He would give you like a lot of support, like money and supplies and... And let you kind of try to. I become mean, a Rhodes hero. got like messed up of one time, like just once. Well, I mean, he didn't get messed up. Too. I also wouldn't. I don't know about the sidekick on that for Rhodes too, because Cause they're, they're partners, really. They're they, they're they very about partnerish. Not only that, Rhodes has been Iron Man first of all for a long time. He was yeah. Iron Man. Rhodes is Iron Man in Secret Wars. For those who don't know, Rhodes is uh, Rhodey is Iron Man in Secret Wars. A hundred percent. Yep. Um. Thor. Actually, I'm going to go Thor then. You warp up to Asgard and then all of a sudden you can get smashed by something. I mean, that's any kill. superhero, but then just think <laughs> of the level of power you're working with. Because if true. you haven't seen any, Thor's ward is uh, Lady well, you would have to be, Kid Thor. You, you would be worthy Thor then. Well, she's weird. She's actually ends up being a thing, but Thor's ward is like a girl ward, as a girl in the comics. Well, I'm saying you would be a psychic to worthy Thor. Right. That would be the one. I don't know. I mean, I'd take on Wolverine Thor. You're right. He's cool as shit. He is, he's pretty hardcore. Even Wolverine I might, might take. Because the thing is, some of the jobs you take knowing there's the risk. The problem with Batman is you take it and you're like, no, Batman, you're not supposed to let me get fucked up. That's not Batman. Whereas Wolverine, right. you're like, oh, no, everyone dies around Wolverine. I'm just another casualty. If you die, war. yeah. But hey, man, I would definitely be Spider-Man. Um, Spider-Man I would, sounds I would really good. I just, I, I, I just swing don't, from webs. There's just so many good heroes that I love. It's, it's hard to even great. pick one, you it know? Is. You could. You got a lantern a ring. What ring would you use and why? Mm, probably the green one, just I to be it. honest. Like... The willpower thing, the power off of the willpower, I think it's very is probably personal, really, I think. Yeah, I think, I think it's that the, one's easiest for me to relate Not only to. that, I think willpower is one of the most self-reliant ones. Like hope, fear, and a lot of those are outside Out, factors. Outside factors, yeah. A lo- well, like, and they, and they're not 100% like if you have strong enough hope, but I feel like willpower is one of the things. Like, like fear, you, know, you would have to scare people. Like you would have to like. Right, and hope you have to hope. People. Yeah, I mean, you, you have, have to have hope. Always hope. Will, but you have to have will, but just... that's from within. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So green probably would be, yeah, and or maybe white and that would be cool white would be good but if you could do, do it. it yeah I mean white is the manifestation Kyle of Rainer. every thank you Kyle Rayner so you got just... peace Kyle Rayner no right? he's still around though um upcoming series Bullseye is coming up in a month is in JLA uh, with Lobo the mm-hmm. new JLA with Lobo Killer Frost Batman and the Kaboos they're only on chapter one or two now nice man uh super like, sons just up. released the first chapter which is the son of batman and the son of superman <sighs> how was that it was pretty good it's it's still got to go some places before it really gets an evaluation but it's pretty good so far and current ones i'm i'm actually reading uh let's see i'm reading red hood oh man God. that's a great read. there's so past. many good ones i'm reading now red I mean, hood Thanos, is like really Really Look dope, it. like and so I have he's to check actually it out. working with Batman a little bit. And like, I saw that he was cool. working with Batman a little bit in some of the dark, or not the Dark Knight, the Detective, Detective comics. Because yeah. I've been keeping up on Detective comics, Action Comics. Nice. Uh, I'm a little. I think I'm a little behind on a couple others like Flash and. They're in like something like what eight nine hundred or something. God, that's somewhere past a thousand, man. Nine, that they're right there. Um, some classics. Uh, I had a couple. This one is mine for the episode because we know we got Iron Fist and Logan coming up. Iron Fist Wolverine, The Return of Kun Lun. Nah, just, that sounds awesome, dude. I have not read that one. It's uh, pretty cool. It's like a four or five part series. It's basically uh, the premise is that the Iron Fist power has been stolen from Danny Rand. Really? Or like, Holy or crap. he's just getting beat up while he has it. One or the other. Either way, it's a really cool thing with Wolverine and Iron Fist that's 
good, that shows you one of Iron Fist's original villains and some of the some of the backstory of him. It's really nice, really cool. Oh, you should check it out. We're slowly running out of time here. Yeah, we're really we're kind of rushing through. Brush through. We're just gonna kind of brush through the last couple minutes here. We. We've, wow, we we had so much fun conversating. Oh with you yeah, guys it's here. been so Just, good, and all the comments have been great. Thank you, Misa. You've probably been the MVP tonight. MVP man. Ari, Ariana's done Ariana, great. Tyler, done Connor, Tyler, uh, Tyler, Josh, Josh helped Josh. Out here. Everybody's been so. We've had great. so many great people in tonight. I mean, you yeah. guys have just and we've like I said, we're even pushing past our where we just hit our two hours, which is really kind of our cutoff. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually, we may go longer someday uh depending on sponsors viewership etc but yeah, yeah depending on what happens but we're we're gonna start planning guys the things are gonna change with comic con yeah. balls and we're we're mm -hmm. hoping to get a whole bunch going we're hoping that uh you know you guys enjoy it you know obviously the i feel like the level of conversation has been consistent and keeps growing yeah and we just we love having you guys yeah you know? and any suggestions for the show let us know we're working on stuff we're drop a drop a message and... to the page either of us you know any suggestions you may have Anything you want to see, anything that's coming up that we mm -hmm. might need to cover, oh, let yeah. us know. Games, videos, or uh, movies, movies, comics, TV any shows. Ah, oh, man, we love it. comic books are our favorite, but you know, we love it. Everything. Everything's our favorite. Ah, uh, man, everything. I meant like the comic book subject. Matter. Oh, absolutely. That's probably <laughs> on top of our like oh, we we yeah. we obsess over it to a point. <laughs> mm -hmm. It might be a little that's, unhealthy. It, a little. <laughs> a little. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like it though. Yeah, it, it helps me. Tune in to our show next week. We'll have. We're gonna have a much heavier like. Oh, Logan! Logan. It'll like, well. It's Logan gonna be. Gonna I be. almost want to say it'll be a spoiler episode because you can't do an episode of the night. Maybe we'll even do a small, a short spoiler cast. Maybe like, so. So I like guess a we're gonna. Minute we're gonna go, go see. Do you want to go see Logan before doing the cast? Are we gonna do a late, late cast? cast, like a late night cast? Yeah. Like guys, 10? If you guys want to do... Well, that might be... Well, what time will we get back? Like midnight? One. No, because if we go see this... I think there's a 7 o'clock one. So we go to 7, and then we'd be back around 10? Well, then we'd probably go to your go to, place. Or either yeah, one. Well, yeah. cause, I don't know where we which one would be closer to well, go there. Well, we got to go to Regal, man. Mm -hmm. the Regal and that's why I'm saying house. that whichever one would Regal, be by the way. But, yep, check it out. <laughs> check it uh, out. But we, we'll let you know um, on the Com Combos page. Like the page if you haven't already to find more information. We're on Twitter as well. We're we're trying to get on YouTube all over the place. We're trying to really get this going and make yeah, Comic Combos. We're trying to really make it I, We aware. really thought it's... We really feel like it's going good places and we're enjoying it and we want to have more interaction and more fun with you guys. And we're enjoying having things. you guys back every week. Oh, it's We so enjoy great. you guys watching these episodes and enjoying this amazing content that we're putting out and content that we're loving you know we oh, love yeah. this geeky stuff and like, you gotta check out the page we got a lot coming yeah. out like the we've, been, we've done and have been trying to maintain uh, at least good one new posting yep. schedule. Yeah, good posting schedule. A couple new posts every day. Original content a lot of the time. Uh, hopefully, and uh, you know we can't wait to see you for next week's episode. Episode eight of Comic Convos. Logan arrives. Logan arrives, guys. And it, it might be a little bit of a later episode, but still, tune in. We'll yep. be talking about what we saw with the movie and everything and how we reacted, you know. Yep. And yep. Uh, just keep an eye out for the post on the page, and we'll let you know when the next Comic Convos comes. Good to talk to you. Take care, guys. Good night. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.